Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. Please, have a seat. Oh, they're already sitting. Let me just knock around this mic. Oh, they, they think they, they're so good. They, they, they're just gonna sit wherever they want, huh? Well, they, fuck up this mic. That'll, they, that'll learn them. They start out. I'm, I'm surprised they started sitting. I, I thought they all started out watching dishes while listening. Oh, is that what they do? Yeah. Uh, true. Let's hey, it's see. Hey, Hail Zeon. Oh, Hail Zeon's in the chat. It's cause Sonic's in the picture. <laughs> I figured it out. Hey, Zeon. Uh, which episode of... I noticed you were rewatching Ava and you said that comment. Um, which... I'm trying to get this... There we go. Hey, that's right. Discord, shut the fuck up. Hey, um, Toad. Which episode of Ava is the one they lost the film reels to? <laughs> he said they lost the episode. They lost yeah, the film I reels to one that. of them, and it's just some shitty SD upscale. So that's neat. Um. But yeah. So, hi Toad. Hi Prince Silvermane. Let's see. I have some of these on PC since you can buy them. They're not really good compared to what you can emulate yourself. Yeah, I don't. <clears throat> Episode 16. Thanks. Um, I don't expect it to stack up, but we also have an OSSC. So all the so emulation <laughs> is just like, why? But, you know, this has trophies. And that's basically all I care about here. <laughs> uh, when, hey, as, it, bro. as it pertains to this game. So we're going to start with the most exciting game, Bob. Oh, right. This is a 4th of July stream, I guess. Uh, Triptune uh, Radio points out happy 4th. Yes, it is the 4th. Uh, it'll be happy when I get out of work. It's like, I, I was honestly trying to think of something that, like, the most American game we could play for the forest, and I, I just mm -hmm. can't think of anything. Like, anything that's still in line with what our channel normally does. Who fucking cares about that? Just fucking go. <laughs> are you gonna, are you gonna actually work? Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of points in columns, and then we're gonna get a trophy. The input lag isn't great. But it's not the worst I've dealt with in a collection for sure. Jeez, Toad has all the Genesis games you can get on Steam. Cool. Uh, Zeon says that uh, he thinks that those are the they're using Digi Beta tape for uh, Blu-ray or for the Blu-ray release. Beta. I'm not sure what Digi Beta tape would be. Um, I mean, wouldn't that I, just be Beta tape, Betamax? I think that there was a version of Betamax where you could. It was more for using for storage purposes, and it was just, like, some sort of data instead of just film? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. That sounds it like something like it would introduce it. artifacts. You'd think. I don't know. Boo -doo, -doo, -doo. Boo doo doo Everyone's very hype, I assume. Um, Zachary wants to know if we ever sleep. Streaming at 1 a.m.? Um... Working jobs? Don't judge us. <laughs> yeah, no, there's, there's no sleep. <laughs> Look, I was gonna play this with or without the stream. In fact, I, I let Bob know. He's off the hook. He can just step out of the stream whenever he wants. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably try and get out of here sometime like three, sometime before four. Ho hopefully, hopefully I'm not doing this by then, right? Hopefully but, uh, this Dan, isn't Dan, that that's, I'm not going to stream. Even, I'm gonna pretend you. I'm not gonna pretend that you're stopping. That, that seems <laughs> ludicrous. Look, I like columns, but everyone has a limit. No, I don't. Um, also, I'm certainly not playing Columns this whole time, so no one assume I'm that insane over Columns. Cheese Tenderson uh, points out we could play Broforce. That'd be pretty America. Yeah, I would. I, I feel like a lot of people will probably be doing that. Probably. Um, not that I have to have the most unique stream in the world, but I don't think we actually own Broforce. We just played Brett's copy. Yeah. I own that weird one they did for the the t movie tie-in. But... There you go. That's even more American because it's a brand tie-in, right? <laughs> and hopefully not everyone's doing that version. Because <laughs> that would just be even more absurd. I don't know. <laughs> just as I said, don't eat sushi from a Brazilian restaurant. Yeah. That does seem like a weird thing to... To even attempt to do. I mean, like, I have to. I have to convince myself not to eat sushi from a grocery store. I feel <laughs> like they might be doing that thing that you hear about at like restaurants where they replace some of the more expensive fish with cheaper fish that gives you diarrhea. 
Um, I, I'm trying to remember which fish that is. Yeah, I can't remember either. But that's the thing. Uh, Zeon says that he does. He's not entirely sure what Digibeta is either, but it's known as pretty standard for storage of SD footage for, used for airing broadcasts. Huh. Uh, hey, Mr. Feel. Hey, he hey, wants Mr. us to stream Burger Time. That's the most more American game. I actually really like that game, so I'm pretty okay with that. Unless we're talking about the 360 one, which was pretty not great. Oh man, look at these promos. Do I have a trophy yet? Give me the fucking trophy. I do have a trophy! I'm out. That was it? Yep, no, yep. Was no I'm done. That's all I'm here for! Uh, Zach Rowe wants to know if we tried the fan-translated version of Whoa. Fantasy Stars for uh, I PS2. No. I legit as fuck don't know how to get out of here. Is it, this is a rewind not feature. Doing anything? Nah. Nah. I um, get this rewind feature. L3 R3? It's not. Nope. Whoa, what? Whoa, okay, so right stick is our... Oh, quick save, quick load. Quick save, quick load. I really have no idea. There's gotta be... I don't... Oh, hold... <laughs> it pops all the way up in the upper right. Oh, okay. So, okay, we're done with that. Um... I feel like Altered Beast is a good classic. But you know, if you want to, if you want to watch chat for a bit before we abandon it, I can I can do some Sonic, some Sonic Two because the Sonic Two one's for dumb babies. The Sonic Two trophy is like idiotically <laughs> simple. I forgot to look up how much this game was. Can someone in the chat Google that real quick? Because I was I was pr pretty interested in how much they're charging for this collection. Um, Bob and I just beat up a man and took his copy. <laughs> oh hi Sasha. Uh, Zeon says that it, 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 those digibetas are also what the people were given for licensing anime before we had all digital stuff. What's wrong, Dan? How bad it is? How bad it is in yeah, every way? I just... I've been playing so much Sonic 2 over the last two months. Like, especially right before E3. Uh-huh. So, really, it was about a month ago. But I played so much of it on real hardware... Upscaled via the OSSC to the screen that when I hit right and Sonic stood there for a second and then he started going and I'm like, oh no, like it instantly made me feel sick. This feels so wrong. <laughs> We're still not there, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Feel says it's $30. $30 isn't that much for uh, an excuse to trophy hunt. I suppose. Um, ba -da -ba -da -da. Zeon says, play Sonic 3D, you coward. In this fucking so latency? 3D blast, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, obviously. obviously. I mean, in some countries, it doesn't even have the blast on it. You know, it's just Sonic 3D. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Now you know that. Are you upset? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ruin my pop team reference by not answering the call. Uh, Upset. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> We're like, why did why did Dan think he was upset? Let's see. Uh, this feels so fucking gross. Zach Gross says, why do people poop on Altered Beast? I always found it a decent game. Also, not sure. If so much, I'm just so much on Altered Beast. In our chat. Not not in their chat. Though. Okay. So I think he, it's a he thought I was question. being he thought I was being ironic. Okay. No, I genuinely like Altered Beast. Like, um, that was the first Wii game we bought. I think that or really? golf. That or pinball. Pinball. We didn't. We didn't buy golf. We just played golf with fake aggro that one night. Yes. And that was insane. Um, Mr. Feels thought Sonic 3D was a different game. Is there another one that's called Sonic 3D? I mean, Sonic Blast is a Game Gear game. Sonic 3D Blast is the American name for uh, the, you know, Traveler's Tales. Um, okay, now he gets it. Sonic, yeah, yeah. I know, it's confusing. Don't take any of it personally. Why don't you know Sonic is good as me? Because you're not Cybershell or some other equal level mega autism. Which is fine. Okay. Okay, he, Zachary was just saying that Ultra Beast comment is about people in general. Like, no. Oh, really? I didn't know that was a thing. I thought people respected the Alter Beast. The Alter Beast. I mean, it was it was basically a launch set, right? So yeah. it's a really simple game. And it was, it was really so advanced for the time, though. Like, it came out before the fucking Super NES. Right? You know? Yeah. As far... Just fucking... Just fucking listen, Bob, okay? Okay? <laughs> 
Oh! It's you. Uh, Mr. Peel says, I beat Triple Triple. I had a game gear. I'm up there. <laughs> I'll tell you what end of the spectrum I'm on. You little shit. <laughs> I'm on the same bus as you two. Uh, Triple Trouble's a dope fucking game. Oh man, that was close. I almost landed on that monkey. That would have really fucked things up for me. So you just need to get the five. Oh. I need 26 more rings. 25 more rings. Is this it? I know, it looks like I suck dick at this game, but I, t I am telling you, this latency is out of this goddamn world. I plugged that. Mr. Field says, do you know how much I gave to Homestuck? <laughs> okay. I don't want to. Firstly. There we go. Uh, I guess I need to finish the act. Okay, I'll go I'll go yeah, do that. Yeah. Cause I said finish with that. Yeah, but I, I figured before I was done was good enough. I don't think getting to the end of Oh, that sound! Yeah. Zion says, damn, we need to play Streets of Rage. Yeah, Streets of Rage is really damn good. Yeah. Streets of Rage 2 is really damn good. I haven't played enough of 1 to figure out whether or not I dig it. I like 1. It's yeah. not as good as 2. It's better than 3. Weirdly enough, 2 is handled by Yuzo Koshiro. Right. Like his developer, Ancient. Right. Who also made a lot of the portable Sonic games and other stuff. I passed the remote. I'm not sure if he made Tales of Adventure. If he did, he would be like God tier. He'd be uh, up there with Kamiya. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fields says, have you guys played S-O-R-R? -R? Oh, no, Streets we of Rage have, Remake. We have, we have not. Huh, yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, it's a fan project. Of course. Of course. Did it, it, is it one of those, is it one crazy and hit Kickstarter, or is it just... Um, what, what else do you need anyway? Well, I didn't, I didn't beat the, uh, Green Hill Zone. Oh, yeah. I beat Act 1. Act See, that's why I was hoping it wouldn't it wouldn't have some insane requirement. Like beat the first act. So you really beat you the didn't... whole first three levels. Yeah, because in that's that's you another layer. Right, that's you... another layer of why I think that I'm going fucking insane. One, I tried to jump into the wall back there at the incorrect wall. But two, and more importantly, I'm going insane because this fucking latency. It's disgusting. Crystal Marines also upset with how bad sound effects are on all Shot and Genesis emulation. Yeah. Which is why I, I keep saying there's a huge value in analog doing a Genesis, you know? Maybe yeah. a larger value in that than any console they've done to date. Oh, hi, Vox. Hey, Vox, I was actually gonna message you to stop training on Skullgirls and join us for this lovely Sonic stream where we shit on the simulation, but then I was like, nah, she can, she can just play video games and have fun. You know, maybe she's got something better going on than watching me complain about all this fucking input lag. It's disgusting. Toast says the Tales Adventure was directed by some guy directed Triple Trouble. Cool. Is it made by Ancient, though? No. See, that I don't know. Um, Mr. Peel says, it's a really uh, good go. Streets of Rage... Or, it, it's a really good Streets of Rage fan project that combines all three games and, and new levels and has, like, 15 characters. Sega tried to make it official, but the devs fell off the planet. Weird? That's sad. Okay, so Sonic 1's trophy sucks. You, did you see Sonic 1's trophy? No. Just get all the fucking Chaos Emeralds. Jeez. I mean, um, I can, but I don't... I, you know, I, I kind of want to just jump from game to game to game to game to game. So I'm going to go to Spinball. Wait. Now, just as I asked if you attempt to do the drop dash like in Mania, because he, like he always does, which I, I'm like, no, you probably I, played much Sonic 2, the last, especially the last month. Yeah, I mean, Sonic 2 is my shit. I did actually get Super Sonic and Sonic Mania finally. That was the <laughs> thing I felt I needed to do before, right. the, before Sonic Mania Plus came out. Uh, Vox says, oh, come on, Dan. You know I can do both at the same time. Ha 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 ha, she says, mashing in her arcade stick. <laughs> Get to the final boss without using a continue. Ooh, that's that's harsh, Mr. Fuel. Mr. Fuel says Sonic 1 shouldn't be included. Me and Mr. Fuel maybe see eye to eye. I think that uh, Zion's gonna Zion's freak gonna out. Zion's gonna erupt like a fucking volcano. <laughs> He's gonna pull out the block hammer over on Twitter. <laughs> yes, uh, Pr Prince Silvermane, the, uh, there are only six Chaos Emeralds in uh, Sonic 1. Yeah, for not eight. Because, you know, they couldn't afford it. It's too cheap of a game. This <laughs> is... 
I'm Hi, Brendan kidding. O'Sullivan. Hey, Brendan, how's it going? It was nice playing Skullgirls. <laughs> Mr. Gill says this, that game should be locked in a time capsule, an unmarked time capsule. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 have a legitimately different feel. Oh man, take a selfie. Jeez. Info leg is about as real as Bigfoot. You complain too much to truly be worthy of the Dan video game's title. Can't, I can't deal with how terrible this game is. Yeah, no. Space Harrier 2 is the biggest fuck up on the Genesis. As I much as we're all ragging on Sonic 1, let's, let's, just, let's just all agree that this is a piece of shit. Does he almost know if Mean Bean Machine's on this collection? Uh, I believe it is. Spinball is, but maybe Mean Bean isn't. <laughs> on PC, people modded... Okay, so all these games are individually available on Steam right now, right? Right. Here's my favorite story about this collection. You can go buy Mean Bean Machine, go into the Steam Workshop, and download the mod to turn it into Puyo Puyo 2. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, what do you need to do in this one? Uh, get five mil points. Five which mil. doesn't seem too hard, but just looking at it is its own type of... I can attempt that while you reach that if you like. Absolutely. Here you go, champ. Here you go, pal. Buddy. Oh, oh my god, does it put a <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's just not as real as you, as, you, as you can convey to a person until you stick the fucking control... Like, shit, man. At a certain point, you go... Like, this game's already running horrible, obviously. At a certain point, you go, I could stick the Frame Meister into the Xbox One. <laughs> okay. Route that... No. I'm just... No, that would be a monster. Oh. oh my god. Get ready? Get ready? No. We're not even at one million, man. This music sucks. Yeah, no. Apparently, F-bombs get removed from the chat, says Zeon. That's weird. He was probably yelling Mr. Peel about, uh... Um... Are you... Is your chat listing... This art is terrible. Do, 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 now, that... That sounds wrong. Yeah. I'm sure that's not how it sounded originally, yeah, but... I don't we, think it ever sounded good originally, though. Yeah. There we go. Well, that's pretty weird. But in any case, um, I saw what you said, uh, Zeon. You said, fuck you, Mr. Feel. Sonic 1 is a gem, you Philistine. To which, uh... Mr. Feel says, I wish Sega had stuck... The Fantasy Zone and Outrun and Space Harrier and Super Aeon ports from Aku Yakuza Zero in here. Man, that would be that'd be nice, wouldn't it? If we yeah. could just buy those really nice ports. <laughs> yeah, no, those ports are. But you got you better. gotta buy that game. Yeah, remember the, the ports of just the games. That's insane. Like yeah. you can play a better version of in Yakuza. I mean, buy Yakuza that. is like a full AAA game, so they could afford a, a, a team. Oh my God, this. This input latency is mad. It is. <laughs> if Gangnam is... Style was made today, if Gangnam Style was made today, he'd be yelling at this input latency, not at butts. <laughs> because they're, this input latency is way madder than those butts. <laughs> Obscure references to yeah. size oh, tweets. Geez. Somebody once asked Sai, once asked Sai hey, why are you yelling at those butts? And then he said, because those butts are mad. <laughs> <laughs> that sticks with me. Yeah, no. I'm like, uh, he's not wrong. It's just confusing. It also is like screen tearing. Yeah, I know. In a way that that I want to believe is space harrier, but isn't. Uh, now is the input latency just in this port, or space harrier, or the emulation? Maybe both. That's the thing about classic games. Very few of them have significant input lag uh, because they don't have space for frame buffering in any of those old consoles. So this is this is 100% the, the fucking emulation because Sonic 2 is experiencing it. And Sonic 2 is a smooth fucking game. <coughs> Here's a rant for you. Yes, I'm still sick. I don't know. It's been a month, fuck. Um, <sighs> Jeff Gersman was talking about the streaming consoles that Microsoft keeps alerting, alluding to and, and Google's allegedly coming out with and how much input latency that's going to build into games. And he's like, I just worry about how that'll affect the future of games. Oh, man. That was fucking crazy. And how they develop them. You know, because it'll change what types of games they make. Because the input lag will be so much they'll want to make a game that can deal with that. 
And the funny thing is I'm sitting here and I'm like, that has already happened with these yeah, consoles. Ready? Yeah. Just not even not even with just like the 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 streaming solutions. That has happened with these fucking consoles. God, these things are annoying. Well, Bob, that was about half of the score you need, so I really? guess you're giving it a second That's shot. That's crazy. You have to get five million, sir. Five million? Five million, sir. Wow. Um, and like, the most responsive games nowadays are still multiple frames of buffering on consoles. Which is one of the reasons why like, 120 frames per second actually is a pretty neat thing. By the way, uh, uh, Prince Silvermane, very amused by Yeast Land. <laughs> Triptune Radio says you can do it, Bob. You got this. Four's yard. Is this PS4 or PC? This is PS4. This is the, uh, collection Good of... Oh, oh, yeah, no. It's disgusting. I would... I would not enjoy doing this on real hardware. Right. And here doing we this are. on this is even more disgusting. I just noticed how you steer yourself. Yeah, you can see through yourself. Get ready. Because it's space area. Yeah. That's how it works. Um, Dan, don't worry. Modern video games already don't require you to have zero frames of input latency to play. Those quick time events are pretty lenient. I thought we stopped doing quick time events by now. Uh, mostly. Yeah, I was like, it's good. We just have entire games that are like that. Yes. Like Telltale. Yes, like Telltale and, and uh, uh, Life Detroit. is Strange, kind of. Even though they're more meaningful. A lot of the time. Oh, yeah. You know, because you're making a choice instead of it being like... In, in uh, Until Dawn, also quick time event central. Yeah. Yeah. But but yet again, it's more meaningful because you're making a choice in that amount of time instead of just being like, hit square or die. <laughs> or die isn't a valid choice. Then again, Bob, you make a convincing argument yeah, here. <laughs> you know, you have a rewind button. It's L2. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Press and hold. Ooh. <laughs> You're not ready. Oh. <laughs> it was like Alter Beast. <laughs> uh, I wonder if you can still get trophies. Fire, that. Firehawk says, uh, the same collections on PC. It wasn't that bad back there from what I recall. And Silvermane says, it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but... This is listed as Space Harrier 2. Yeah, no, this is this is not the original Space Harrier, but there's no like good ver console version of Space Harrier until you hit the Saturn. And what? there's just no good version Get of Space ready? Harrier 2. Right. Yeah. Let's see. It's so weird that I can just select this level. You could also rewind through all these. Yeah, I know. I just feel gross doing it. Yeah, it's like, why am I even playing this stuff? To give me these trophies. So that way you don't have to read the chat. I know that's secretly why you're playing right now. Also, you, di you didn't believe input lag was real. Until now. Yeah. Uh, Silvermane's saying the 32X had a pretty good version. Uh, do you mean of, um... I presume you mean of the original Space Harrier. In which case, I don't own a 32X yet. I will in time for Sonic Month. Much to Bob's chagrin. Uh, I hate that I'm gonna have to buy a 32X cable made by the people who make all those RGB cables. Zachary, oh, I'm just kidding. Bob loves you. Um, but yeah, Silvermane saying yeah, the original Space Harrier. Um, what are those? There's fuck. like men flying around now. Uh, I'm seeing clams. Yeah, there's clams, but then the men come from the front of the screen and like okay. go to the back. I missed them. Those are cool frog those fractions. Those are pretty, pretty, pretty cool frogs. This is frog fractions too. <laughs> Frog Fraction Zero. <laughs> did a did, Frog Fraction Two came out, right? Yes. Okay. That did exist. Um. Let's see. The uh, only non-story slash Telltale QTE sequence I enjoyed was Resident Evil Four's knife fight. <laughs> it was a fight with a knife. <laughs> and you know, licensing that song for it was. <laughs> Maybe go down? Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> do more do more up and down movement. You're going left and right is just guaranteeing. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bad game. 
You know, the amazing thing is if you just stay alive long enough, you're guaranteed getting five mil points. Right. But that's dumb. <laughs> um, let's see. Zachra says, sorry to constantly bother, but Quest 64? You you are not sorry to bother us about that at all, are you? No. And even you're sorry about that is a complete lie. Yeah. And yeah, no, uh, Mr. Field sums it up with, uh, this game sucks extensively. <laughs> it thoroughly deep throats gameplay. <laughs> hey, Bob, are you enjoying the thrill? <laughs> God. Oh, hey, it's the Zakus. Hey, Dan, those are Dobbs. Those are Dobbs, I'm sorry. Are they Rick Dobbs? Yes. Whoa! Whoa. That didn't happen. Brendan O'Sullivan says, oh my god, that Altered Beast Rewind action is hilarious. <laughs> um, uh, Silverane's noting the 32X's port of arcade games are almost perfect. Yeah, I, I hear that about the... Um, I hear hear that about a lot of the 32X stuff. Uh, Yukari Yakumo says, right, uh, before I pass out, I'd like to know, I held the high score on a legit arcade copy of Space Harrier for several months at one point. Dude, that's awesome! <laughs> like, I, I really do want to play the original at an arcade before I die. That would be real cool. Oh man, what the fuck? I'm a pile of shields! Look, they were like, we can't just steal more Gundam designs. That'd be tactless. Yeah, let's uh, instead just recolor this, this one we stole three times. <laughs> Oh no, it's now a herd of them? That's weird. That's not a boss. <laughs> what a thrifty game. I'm on to you. I have a feeling that this game followed Sega's old policy of making the entire game in three months. Yeah, probably. Look at this nonsense. Uh, Dan, if you really want to play this game again, the 3DS is the best version by far. Yeah, no, and by this game you mean Space Harrier, not Space Harrier 2. Uh, yeah, no, the 3DS version of those, uh, yeah, Sega I, games are incredible. I bought that. It is real good. I, I kind of want the cartridge that has, you know... Oh, it has all of them, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Uh, apparently did not sell very well. I am not surprised. Nope. Toad says... What is real? With input lag and poor frame tonight. See, I, I just, I want some, like, references to the musical quality and the sound effects. Like, with input lag and poor... Whoa! <laughs> I like how you timed that up with me doing it. That was perfect, Bob. Good job. <laughs> Wait. Wait a second, you even rewound because you saw yourself die. Yes. <laughs> well, you didn't die. <laughs> uh, Firehawk says, which reminds me that Thunder Force 4 is coming to the Switch soon. That's, That's cool. cool. I still haven't played this. It's on the Genesis, though, so we could we could play that. Not in this collection. Oh, actually, maybe it is in this collection. <laughs> That is the best part of this game. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm glad this collection added an, any element to this game that I could enjoy <laughs> past the second I was amused that you were Char. <laughs> is this an Eva? It's one of those. Oh, uh, it's a tiger! It's a shitty bat tiger. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed to play this game. Could you imagine? You, your friends got Mario 3, and you're like. I've got this bat tiger. <laughs> but the graphics are so advanced, man. No, look, it's, it's really not. I honestly... Look at the, flat, the, the ground I'm running on. It's really low frame rate. I honestly think Altered Beast is a better looking game. Which isn't hard. <laughs> uh, Triptune Radio says this game is a fever dream and I like it. <laughs> I took his wigs. No, it's just a cat. What the... <laughs> Fuck! And he doesn't run at you, he flies at you. Yeah. He runs laterally, but the moment he comes for you, he just like fucking booster asses. <laughs> what the fuck? This is insane. <laughs> Could you imagine being good enough to beat this? No. Like you're still nowhere near five mil. They knew you were gonna abuse the shit out of the rewind to do this.
Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. Just as X C says, speaking of herds, Bob, Bob, have you tried out your gift yet? No. Oh, oh, wait. Fight the, the fight I did play it a little bit. Yeah. I want to see how that was. It, it seems neat. I didn't know it was still in early access and they, there were things that weren't on there yet. Bernard Sullivan says, some of the Whoa. monster design in this Whoa. is giving me some major Forbidden Forest flashbacks on the Commodore 64. I think I've seen footage of that game and it looks better. Whoa. He got tired of running? It's so weird. That seems so unlike him. What is, what is it? It's got I, a clam counter. I, I guess you're trying to get enough clams. Is this a bonus stage now? Or? Are you in the Yak Club? I don't... Is this a Buffalo Lodge thing? Are you a part of the Water Buffalo Cult? Are you, in fact, a granddad? <laughs> but it's giving you credit for every enemy killed. Even the non-clams? Yeah. Yeah, what the heck? What if all the enemies are secretly clams? Yeah, what if? <laughs> uh, Triptune says, this game is a fever dream, and I like it. Well, let's see. Uh, Space okay, Man there Spiff we go. Says, Man, we it's did weird. it. Oh, thank God. We're done. Okay. You don't want to see the ending? All right. I figure we're so close. I have no idea. Yeah. I should check how many levels there are. Space Man Space says, man, it's weird listening to you guys over Bluetooth car stereo. Also, what the fuck is this game? <laughs> man, that must be weird. Because, you know, I figure that's the highest quality audio that uh, most people have access to, their car stereo. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Oh, man. Armors. Um, Fanto SS Quinte says, oh, heck, I'm here. The thumbnail is fucking gold. Sonic Month had a great intro. The upcoming Sonic Month will also have a great intro. I will see to it. <laughs> Does this collection have gained ground? That's a good one. I've never been able to get into that one, but hell yeah, I would enjoy that over this. It's not hard. <laughs> uh, also, Xeon back here says, why does GameSack like this game? They don't like this one. They like the first one. Right? Is that true? I thought they also liked this one. I didn't think they liked two. I, don't I, can't, know. I can't. Maybe. Maybe. maybe I just don't remember. It. Yeah, those are the men I talked about before. It's like, okay. why are you dudes coming at me from the front of the screen? Um. Let's see. The enemies are all bad nicks, all only powered by clams because Eggman was out of everything else. <laughs> Speaking of Genesis games, thoughts on Subterranea, if you've played it. I have not played Subterranea. Well, I guess we could have, but Dan and Bob played the MS-DOS port of Space Harrier. And of course, that was a comment by Firehawk. Of course. <laughs> At that point, why wouldn't we just play the MS-DOS port of Dragon's Lair? I don't know when this guy's actually vulnerable to bullets. Oh, never. I think he is taking damage, just the audio so bored. Okay, yeah, he blew up. I bet the audio was terrible to begin with in Grandhad? Granddad! ZX Spectrum version of Space Harrier. Jesus. I recently down re downloaded Mega Man Maker. I can't wait to be featured in We Play Your Mega Man Maker levels number 548. <laughs> you know, Xeon points out, uh, makes a good point. Those were uh, Dracula Wraiths, like from Harmony of Dissonance. <laughs> Like, it did just look like that still frame of Dracula, right? Yeah, that that was weird. <laughs> you know, okay, so I'm, 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 I'm not kidding at all. Earlier tonight, I'm in my house. You know, house is dark because I... <laughs> no, it never stops being funny. Uh, I'm in my house. It's late at night. I'm trying to find my shoes in the darkness. And there's nothing in particular that makes me think of this, but I go, man, fuck everybody. Harmony Dissonance has a great soundtrack. <laughs> I haven't even played that game in a bit now, but I just... That soundtrack is really interesting and weird and accomplishes some unique tone that none of the other Castlevanias really go for at all. So I really appreciate it. Because <laughs> it parallels the mechanics of that game where, no, of course that's not the best Game Boy Advance Castlevania. In fact, <laughs> probably the worst, but... It, it offers something really different, and I you think that's important. You can go aura, 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 and punch them a lot. Exactly. Or muda, muda, muda. It's your choice. Uh, Vox says, oh, is this the collection on Steam that has Gunstar Heroes? Um, this is built on the same framework as that, and it has all the, the games pre-installed. I do believe Gunstar is a part of it. Yes. When does this end? I don't know. Because you can kind of tackle these levels whenever you order you want. 
Siri, how many levels are in Space Harrier 2? Now see, that's how you impress a kid from the fucking 90s. Oh, you found the wiki for fucking Space Harrier 2. Wow, impressive, Siri, you dumb bitch. Actually, she did find some strategy guides, so. This thing looks like a final boss. I mean, it's, no. a, it's a smirk boss, but... It looks like what this face. game will pass off as a final that's boss. That's what I'm saying. This is the, like what I expect from this game's final boss. I'm surprised Firehawk doesn't know. I guess he... He shouldn't know all retro games. I mean, this is, game is oh, especially no. bad. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let me scroll down to make sure I read that right. There are a total of 12 stages. <laughs> Get out. I just want to know what the, what after this one. As I feel like I've been doing this forever. Bob, you are on stage seven. Are you, oh it yeah, is it's in the lower right. right. All we right. are not doing five more fucking levels of this. It's the touchpad. You press and hold it. I cannot believe we wasted even a second longer than we had to. Okay, Bob. I was challenged to play some Sonic 3D Blast. Okay. So you manage the chat. I need to. I need to play some Sonic or sorry, Shinobi two. Because people keep saying that's the best version, I want to play so, it the worst way. So the director of this game has a YouTube channel where he talks about all the tricks he put in to make it one. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, this is so wrong. So, apparently they reserved a decent chunk of the cartridge space for this intro. Which is insanely compressed, as you could tell. Um... This yeah, Prince Silver Maze. Shinobi 3 is like one of my favorite Genesis games. This game's gonna be a unfucking playable. I bet it doesn't even have a trophy. I've been challenged to play a game that has no trophy. Fuck you, Xeon. Fuck! How did you find the one fucking gun? How is there no trophy for that? That's... Because they know that it's unplayable with this amount of latency. Fun fact, everyone, uh, the Sonic 4 boss music uh, that sucked and sounded like carny bullshit is actually music that was designed for this game by the composer. What? Uh, I believe Yuji Naka himself actually composed it or some shit like that. Like, someone from Sega made it. And the director of this game, John whatever his fucking name is, was like, this is terrible. <laughs> so he, he cut it out of the game. Uh, Brendan O'Sullivan uh, calls that. Yes, Game Hut. That channel is amazing. Yeah, Game Hut is amazing. I, I don't like how, um, much like Linus Tech Tips nowadays, I, I don't like how, um, clickbait his stuff is, but he does do legitimately great videos, um, that are super informative. Fantasy and said this game was a nightmare for him. Uh, yeah, no, uh, this, this game was a real fucking nightmare for me on the PS3 collection. The latency here isn't as bad as there. Zion says, ha, ah, no trophy? Even better. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> I can hear his smug sense of superiority through the text. Vox says, imagine being so bad at video games you think input latency is real. <laughs> uh, I don't have to imagine that, Dre's in our Discord every day. <laughs> and I've seen him play DDR. <laughs> See, it wasn't mean until I said that. Yeah, that's, that's when it was just savage. That was that was pretty harsh. It was. Uh, Mr. Peel says those birds look like, or so much like a Donkey Kong Country ripoff. Oh really? I hadn't noticed. <laughs> you think Donkey Kong Country might have had something to do with them making this? All I can say is the uh, these are the naive notions of a non-game developer. No joke, guys. The whole reason Sonic R happened, this may be the best story from Game Hut. The whole reason Sonic R was inflicted on us is because Sonic Extreme got cancelled. God. They were like, uh, we really fucking need a Sonic game for this holiday season. Can can you make us one and convert your F1 racer you're making for this Saturday into that? And they're like, sure? Panto, if you've only played this game on collections, the input latency made the near unplayable. Definitely try out the Genesis version just it, so you might get a little bit less hatred from it. Yeah, a little bit less. There's still some shit in it that'll make you go, man, fuck off. Right. Uh, but there's actually a director's cut now where the main programmer and director from back in the day, who runs that Game Hut channel, went back in and fixed a ton of stuff and improved other things and 
it's kind of crazy that someone's doing this. I wish someone was doing it for a better game, but, right, you know. Uh, it's still, still cool that he's doing it. Fireheart's got a spooky story here. Once upon a time, <laughs> this is... I owned a Sega Saturn, this is... and there were no games. <laughs> Says, so one night I decided to play Street Fighter 2. I walked out in my living room, or my living room and reached into my arcade cabinet coin box area in order to turn it on and feel, felt something very hairy. My hand jerked back no. instinctively. Is it a spider? Is it a tarantula? It's huge. No, it's my cat. Sitting right on the platform with the power switches on. <laughs> I was like, why would Bob read this spooky story about a spider? Bob, why? <laughs> And then it was a cat, so it was okay. Uh, Dodge Nostro wants to know if there are any fantasy stars in this collection. I don't know. I don't know. Does... We'll check in just a second. I'm just gonna beat the first level. But yeah, this this input lag is a lot more tolerable. Not only because the collections. Fantasy Star 2. Here's your drug money, Tails. Take me to the other dimension. <laughs> 2, 3, and 4 uh, for Fantasy Star on here. Now, people who follow my Twitter account may know what happens if you get hit by one of these with no rings. <laughs> You said it does have fantasy stuff? Yeah, it's got two, three, and four. Zero to go! Let me tell you how we did the advanced graphics for the minigame. How you did what? <laughs> no, we get it. It's hideous. <laughs> it looks like it's 3D. No, I didn't do that back then. Stop kidding yourself. And this is called the Sega Classics Collection. It is $30. It's passable. Passable is a good word for it. Too bad my life in gaming does not have uh, input latency testing I stuff. I don't know why. Why they don't? I don't know why like, these collections keep coming out like this. Well, so I sad. honestly wouldn't be surprised if there was something about the PS4 that made it difficult to have less latency. Because, you know, when you're talking to Genesis, you're talking like zero, zero percent, zero frame latency. Yeah. Um. You know, most late, most emulators are based on batching operations. Uh, Spaceman says he, the only time he's ever played this is uh, at a demo at Toys R Us. Oof. That's a good distance to keep. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty good distance to keep. If you have played this on a collection, I recommend, you know, playing it on real hardware at some point just to help remove the latency, but it's not a great game. It's definitely not a good Sonic game is the way I think of it, you know? Right. Mr. Field says, this is like how when uh, Another World was poured to SNES, the publisher kept vetoing any sort of special chips, so the devs had to make it work on a basic level SNES chip or yeah. cart. Yeah, no, the SNES CPU is a basic bitch. I've heard recently that the reason why... Oh, check that out. It's like the water shield. You can push it again to bounce down. Huh. Um, in any case, um, I hear the reason that chip was chosen was they were hoping to have backwards compatibility with the... Oh, hey, it's Knuckles. Here's your drug money, Muck Knuckles. Take me to the other dimension. What? Um, in any case, um, apparently they were trying to make it hardware backwards compatible. And they cut it at the last second because it became a little too hard to do in the Super NES without raising costs of production. So... That's unfortunate, because that CPU sucks. That's why so many of those launch games, like the fucking launch games for the Super NES even have add-on processors. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, Pilot Wings has an add-on processor. Mario Kart has an add-on processor. It's the DSP-1. Fucking... Uh, Prince Silverman says the Gold Shield actually has a homing attack. Oh, okay. Is that what's up? Thanks, Silverman. Confirmed for Sonic Fan Deviant Detective. Uh, Tim Drew wants to know if she should make nachos. Only if they're, only if they're Dutch. I actually had a Nacho Bell Grande from, um, from Taco Bell, and it was regrettable. It was regrettable, maybe, because the sushi from the grocery store is, in fact, using that fish that gives you diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it may really have cool. nothing at all to do with the Taco Bell. I tried their uh, Taco Bell's new giant. I think it's called like the double it's, steak box. But it's I like got the chicken steak version. nacho box, right? Yeah. I was pretty disappointed. They don't have like, it's like just the chicken and then way too many chips. 
that that actually is what it looked like. Yeah. So I'm not too surprised to hear right. that, but it is really disappointing. Uh, Vintage Fiddle says Taco Bell is wholesome, Dan. Yeah, I know. That's, that's definitely why I go there, because it's wholesome. Not because it's the only place open. Like, out of the three dark evils of Waffle House, Whataburger, I just swapped out my uh, fucking nicer shield for a weaker shield. Fucking nice. Um, Waffle House, Whataburger, and Taco Bell. Taco Bell's easily the most palatable. Um, Firehawk says, well, you know, if you don't want to play this anymore, there's still Ultra Street Fighter 4. But that's not... That's not... <laughs> that's not a game on this collection, Firehawk. Also, uh, low-key, uh, no one likes that game but you. <laughs> Everyone else was pretender. <laughs> I've been thinking about eating, like, some chili nachos for a long while now. And I know not shit. Having no shit, I almost called you from work, and I was gonna be like, Hey, do you want motherfucking ch chili cheese dogs? <laughs> but I was like, come on, Dan, don't be a bad influence on Bob like that, come on. Bad enough you run the channel. <laughs> I, I need to find some, some good quality hot dogs for that. I guess there's a Hebrew National. Hebrew? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I hear those are good. I'm not a hot dog scientist, so... Only an input lag scientist. <laughs> Uh, oh, Mr. Feel says, man, Taco Bell is absolutely the lowest level of those three, Dan. I don't believe that. Was Waffle House being on that list? Yeah, Waffle, Waffle House Waffle is House. literal sin. <laughs> uh, I, you, you drink a soda and eat any item on the menu at Waffle House, and you are multiple steps closer to to death, good sir. <laughs> Zeon says, I never knew there was a bonus stage in this game. <laughs> Well, to be fair, the only reason I'm doing that well at it is because I had to learn on the Genesis version earlier this year, or late last year. Toast suspects your last name of being Riker because of the Taco Bell. <laughs> it was really weird when Riker was like representing the Taco Bell uh, flag <laughs> at Giant Bomb, and I'm like, weird. He actually likes Taco Bell. I'm not used to this. And then, and then it turned out he was a psychopath for Taco Taco Bell. So I was like, oh jeez. Yes. It's like that part in an argument where you're, what was it? The worst person to deal with in an argument is someone on your side. Right. Uh, Vox says, Waffle House is where you go when you've given up on life. Yeah, I do that way too often. Hi, tell. Jared Popper. Potter. <laughs> Popper. Popper. <laughs> uh, this isn't just the Sonic Knight, Jared Potter. We, this is a Sega Genesis Classic Collection. Sounds how we're gonna stop playing this game. Yes. Right, Dan? Yes, because I- There I've aren't almost, even trophies. I've almost got my fifth flicky. Technically, by playing this at all, we've moved closer to getting a trophy. Space Man says, I just got home from Taco Bell. That's where I was uh, sitting in the drive-thru listening to your gu you guys. Hell yes. See? See? Taco Bell representing here. A man of excellent taste. Honestly, Mr. Feel, I, I, I could understand you defending Whataburger compared to Taco Bell, but I don't get Waffle House. That's- do I just fly away? That's so lazy. Uh, Firehawk says, Well, considering you still don't have Sardius on PC- or Sardius Street Fighter anniversary on PC, I can't challenge you to Street Fighter 3. It sounds like he's baiting me. Does anyone yeah, else get that? I, I get that impression. How much uh, does it cost? <coughs> okay, I'm out. Uh, I did my John, time. Uh, Jimmy Nez says, Dan has played this game longer than I have played the game in my entire life. Juan. Hold on. For a guy who complained about how much people said Call of Jarez? Yeah. <laughs> what was it? But they came up with so many different things yeah. to call. Call of Jarez, Call of Pedro. Oh. I don't remember him anymore. Um, it was too long ago. But what was his actual comment? I was really caught up on trying to figure out what his uh, real name was. Uh, he was saying that he's you played the game longer than he has in his whole life. Yeah. No, that's fair. Just in this one stream. Um, so, fun fact, the reason why Sonic Spinball runs at half frame rate- God, I'm just pouring out Sonic info. I feel really questionable. Um, Mr. the Peel reason says, it runs at like 30 or 15 frames per second is the whole game's made in C. Oh, and yeah. And it's not assembly, so it's not as quick or responsive. The soundtrack is the best part by a fucking mind. Yes. Like, that's the only actually- Good part of this. Yeah. Everything else is super questionable. Yeah. Radical, but super questionable. 
Uh, Zeon says he's not a Sonic fan. He's a Sonic 1 fan. That honestly makes you even more of a deviant. Uh, Z Mr. Feel says, I'd rather have bad waffles from than Taco Bell being real. Okay. I feel like waffles is your only thing you can reliably get a waffle house yeah. and not die. And even then, if you, like, get the peanut butter chips... Oh, don't do that. Yeah, no, it, and that's, that's my problem. I, I, I get like the peanut butter, so they bait me, and I fall for it every time. Yeah, I get the pecans in, and it's like, this is okay. This isn't... This is like... I've just had uh, some sort of sweet, not food, but still. Right. Shit. Fuck. Jump, you... Uh, Voxes could just use Fight Kate for a third strike, then then you're playing with GGPO. Ooh. Oh, really? That sounds a billion times better than whatever fucking Capcom has done. Face Fist says, God, I hated this game as a kid so much. I... <sighs> Guys, for the longest time I didn't understand the concept that a game could be bad, I just understood the concept that could be bad at a game. So, I, I didn't really... This had Sonic in it? <laughs> so... I like this game because Sonic was in it. Sonic says, I'm surprised you guys aren't, aren't aware of Fight Cave. Um... Yeah, no, nice good. scaling algorithm. Sorry, I just, it Ugh. became obvious because of something in the background there. Um... God, this game... What, what about it? it just, it's... Are you getting triggered? Yeah, no, I, I uh, rented this on vacation once. Oh, wow, once, once. Rented, wow. I think I rented it several times, but on the vacation was the worst mode of like, oh my god, now I'm just stuck here. This is my, the only Genesis I, game I have. And Sounds like me getting brickwalled by Battle, Battle Network 2. And we're just, we're just, what is this? I, I saw something might have been wrong with the TV for why it didn't look like a normal Sonic game where we're in, but now know that it just, it runs at half frame rate, and that's what it is. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's 30 or... Because if you notice, when, it's when it scrolls. That's when it starts dropping frames. Yeah. Because when, when the camera doesn't move at all, it actually approaches 60 at all. Brenda says, yeah, if you think I'm playing Third Strike on anything with GGPO, you are insane. I mean, in that case, it sounds like we should look into this fight cake thing. Does, uh... Uh, Zeon, does, does Agro actually still live in this? I thought it was one of okay, those so, games he abandoned. So, last time I checked, he, you know, he still he still defends this game. Last I checked. <laughs> what do you do in this one, anyway? I have to get three emeralds. They're all in the first level. Still too much. <laughs> you can also fast forward. So that's nice. One moment. I'm sorry, I ruined that by fast forwarding. Great. This is making me think I should get a Model 1 and get it modded with uh, Firebrand X's uh, <laughs> audio mod. Because, man, the audio is unrealistically good for a Genesis. Like, it's too clean. <laughs> Genesis's were not meant to be that clean. It's absurd. Right. Um... How great this is? is yeah, that... how amazing it is. How how very Sonic Spinball it is? I thought maybe, maybe I just don't like pinball. Maybe that's what's going on here. No, see, I knew by this point I like pinball. <laughs> there we go. I like how the rewind feature helps me deal with, like, the worst part. The game. <laughs> Andrea, Dre's in here defending this. He says, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree with Zagro on this one. Earlier, wow, Dre, we, we were slamming you earlier, and you weren't even here. <laughs> and earlier you were saying this. In my experience, Sonic Spinball is an okay game. It's just hard. Dre, this game runs at like 15 frames per second. <laughs> okay, guys, that's enough just saying i I'm gonna put you in a... Uh... Because <laughs> it was, a. Uh, I mean, one of them was Spanto. Uh-huh. And the other was just some rando. Are you sure? Yeah. Who was it? E. That was his name. That was his name? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh... 
I, I, you know, I would expect that a person who doesn't even realize input lag's real would enjoy Sonic Spinball. Dre says, and uh, FPS has never really bothered me. Yeah, I believe that's the opinion of someone who uh, doesn't realize input lag's a thing. It's okay. Someday, you'll become a worldly gentleman. <laughs> Just like Speedwagon, you will carry around a top hat and an amazing suit. He's like, no, deal for life. There we go. Okay. Space Fest telling them what we said about his DDR skills. <laughs> that they were objectively bad. <laughs> Yeah. Dre says, oh, it is on. I mean, look. What? God, I've never even done this I was just doing part. loop the loops over and over. Never even managed to do that right. I've I never thought help. there would be a reason to. Okay, so I need to, wow, that was some good audio. I need to hit that thing to the right. Uh, Totes is a uh, virtual pinball is a great uh, Genesis pinball game. Which one's virtual pinball? Nice! Got it! Throw that switch, motherfucker! Uh, no one says, I swear Sonic's pinball plays slightly better on GBA port, but maybe it's because of the smaller screen? Mind tricks, maybe? Is, is there a GBA port? Yeah, I didn't know about one. Woo! Better to do, 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 oh, virtual pinball lets you build your own pinball levels. Oh, that's right. Pretty sure GameSack covered that. <laughs> Drake says, just kidding, I don't pretend to be good at DDR. <laughs> yeah, no, and that's fine. I think it was more of a joke about, like, you don't believe in input latency. Not saying it's causation, but maybe just a related note for people who are interested. Not great at DDR. Prince Silverman says, none uh, of the DBA ports of Genesis games are any good. Yeah, I the, mean, the Sonic the Hedgehog was fucking a nightmare, so yeah, right? I'm not surprised to hear this. I mean, look, look, there's some things you just don't notice when you're younger. There are just some things where you don't realize what's wrong. <laughs> okay, let's go this way this time. Hang on, Sonic. I have to pull that switch correctly this time. You have the weirdest, like, most slight influence over your movement via the directions. <laughs> oh my god. One slide about the, uh, apparently it was in a collection. Um, of GBA games along with Golden Axe and Echo. Wow. I need to see that. You know, Shane Warden sent us that um, EverDrive for the Game Boy Advance. Yeah. We should, which uh... we're definitely going to use for Sonic. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fox says, Mr. Fields just leaked to be Game Theory Socks. No, I'm mad no. at the universe. Fair. Fox is like, Kate has such a nice community. Yeah. Never mind. I take it all back. <laughs> Burn it to the ground. Uh, Jared Potter, there does not seem to be any limit to the rewind power. That is a... Uh, That's just a thing I can do now. Yeah, uh, emulation. It's how... I mean, it's it's good that they did that. This input lag is fucking severe. So what did Dre play this on? Because I, I, Dre's pretty young. I, I find it hard to believe he played this on a real Genesis, so is he also playing it on the Game Boy Advance? Yeah, I'm not. Right. Trey, what'd you, what'd you play this on? Oh yeah, clean up. Sir Drew says just saw some Mega Man sock at the store the other day. Cool, I saw some Mega Man cereal at the store the other day. <laughs> in, in, a, in one month. <laughs> Scar and Flaxlander says, I feel like Dan is just torturing himself in, in hope of some sex. <laughs> no, that is... Uh, Dre played it on emulator. Okay, that's what I, that's what I figured. Hey, Bob. Hey. The deed is done. Oh my god, thank you. 
You just can't even deal with the music? Yeah, no, it just, even that just gets <coughs> grating. Because there's the sound effects is, are so bad. Yeah. I mean, I like the sound. Look at that! That's not Sonic. What is that? <laughs> it's Sonic-esque. <laughs> okay, so so now it's time to look at this and see where we're going next. We're definitely not doing the Sonic One One next. But there's been so much Sonic. I feel yeah, like like we did need to break the pace, do something not Sonic. But no, see, I was oh I was God. leaning the other way. I was like, we should do not Sonic. But then I thought about it. And I was like, we should do more Sonic. What is wrong with you? I I like Sonic. I don't. <laughs> No, Spiff, he's not gonna fight the boss. We're gonna stop playing it. I saved it though, so you know. Wait, is this a challenge? Is that what extra means? It means like challenges? One moment, let me, let me see what's up with this. Oh, it just shows you the trophy. But, but like. Okay. All right. No, see, check this out. This is a challenge. It starts oh, the whole oh. game in mirror mode, and it wants me to beat this first act in under two minutes, or the whole zone in under two minutes. Okay, I'm already rough on Sonic 1's layout. I really didn't need the mirror mode to make it worse. <laughs> oh, that looks terrible at high speeds. Bob, don't don't look at the background. Don't look at the, the weird tile pattern as I go fast. Because it, it's just breaking apart and looking disgusting. Oh, right, Sonic 1. <laughs> Brandon oh, Sullivan wants me to know if we've ever played Dragon's Fury or Devil Crash. I, I haven't. Is Devil Crash that really dope? Oh, okay, it's Act 2. That's part of why I'm getting thrown off. Got it. Um, Devil Crash or Devil Crush? It's, it's, he says Crash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Chairman Drew says, what the heck, the Hodam and Earl are, are achievement is so easy. Yeah, some of these are ridiculously easy, and other ones not so much. Triptune Radio says, do Streets of Rage, and I, I have to agree with that. It's a good game. You know, it is a lot more tolerant of input latency than a Sonic game. <laughs> but yeah, the whole... I just want to beat one challenge, and I figured this would be one of the easier ones, but really I should have gone to Sonic 2 again. Uh, Fanto, you're right. And not having Sonic 3 and Knuckles is pretty weird. Yeah, I don't... I, mean, it, I can't suggest probably... this is a good way of playing any Sonic game, though, so, you know. It's a, it's a great thing. It's a uh, great thing what it's doing there. Fox apparently found the Game Theory underwear on that same site. Great. That's fucking... I didn't need to know these things existed. Why are you... Uh, Brandon O'Sullivan says Crash Crush, if you're thinking a super metal pinball game, then yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so apparently there are two different names for US and U European releases. Okay, okay, there we go. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure I tried that. It's pretty cool. Uh... Uh, Nuclear Somp, the, the mode we're playing for this is actually doing a mirror image of the, uh, the game. Yeah, this is a challenge where the challenge was to beat it in under a minute, which I just barely did. Why did it actually take me tear? I did. This doesn't. Tripton says the uh, Green Hill Zone music is overrated. Green Hill Zone music is yeah. overrated. Um, I'm tired of it after Unleashed and everything else that's wanking off Sonic One. You know, like whether or not yeah. it's good anymore is irrelevant. Basically, is how it feels. Anyways. Uh, Vox says, if I must suffer, then you must. <laughs> Jeez, it's harsh words. Yeah, so I don't think I'm doing this. Um, uh, AXM says, if it was a licensing problem, they would have released this, or they wouldn't have released the game on PC as part of the same exact collection. So I guess if there's a PC version of Sonic and Knuckles? Maybe they... They just couldn't get locking technology down. The lock-on technology, lock -on yeah. technology. Um, okay. <coughs> Even Dre thinks Green Hill's been brought back way too much. I mean, it has. Yeah. Whether or not you like Sonic 1 is irrelevant. Green Hill Zone's brought back like a, a trillion times. Please tell me there's a Gunstar or Golden Axe. There's gotta be. Alex Kidd, Streets of Rage 3. There's a Golden Axe. Collect 200 magic. Sure, sounds great. Did you want to join me for sure. this? Sure. We won't feel like a Or chat maybe too much. I can leave. You can you can play it, and I'll just manage chat. Because okay. I don't even know if Golden Axe One has multiplayer. Oh right, me. That's why I never played. Yeah, one. I think that's why we do two most of the time. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, Dan Video. 
You got 500 rings in Sonic, Dan. You did it. Beautiful. I could have done that in just Sonic 2 in just Emerald Hill Zone, but... <sighs> okay, it is two-player. I mean, it's got two hands there. Ooh, Streets of Rage. Don't play as man. Uh, Angel Island Act 2 is really good. Death Adder invaded the castle and has taken the king and prince as prisoners. My good friend Alex was also killed in the battle. Whoa, that was fast. Peace to the land is my duty. I assume he's bringing peace to the land. I guess. Um, so, I mean, we're gonna have to play the, uh, whoops, whoops, that's the magic. That thing you're supposed to be collecting and not throwing at the first enemies you see. <laughs> I assume that that's just not having them all at once. I just haven't collected that many in general. You better hope. <laughs> but, um... I assume we're gonna have to play that PS3 Golden Axe game at some point. Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Juan Jimenez says, uh... uh Green Hill theme gets played too often at con raves. Fudge that song. Play Supersonic Racing at a rave. You are right. Supersonic Racing is a great song. So you should have hit him a shitload and gotten more magic. Because that's who has it. Yeah, I know. I just thought that... I thought I had to leave him alone for a second. Like, did what there? Maybe that's... Maybe you can spam him more in one? I don't know. Um, let's see... Toad is saying things about Sonic 1's music. Uh, Scarred Flaxender says, play Streets of Rage and Ra play Streets of Rage and Knuckles. You just got a trophy. Can you hit the... Yeah. Well, it's too late now, but, uh... Let's see. I can still do this. You can still do that, and we can try to find it. Well, use magic when no enemies are present. Thank you, Bob. Hey, look, it was a trophy we needed. Yeah, no, and I wouldn't have gotten it. Because I wouldn't have noticed it. Starlight is actually better than anything in Sonic 1. I assume Starlight, you mean like the Starlight Zone? I don't know. Let's see, Dynamite Hetty has a region selector. Uh, that makes sense because Dynamite Hetty, you know, is a very different game. Actually, no, wait. Dynamite Hetty, I'm, I'm thinking of a different game. Uh, Dynamite Hetty is a treasure game. It is different in Japan and America, but I didn't. I, it's not different enough to justify that. So not used to one. Dre, that is amazing. Dre says, though for me, Angel Island Act Two is quote Leaf Forest from Ultimate Flash Sonic because you're so used to playing Ultimate Flash Sonic. That's amazing. That sort of post. Like, he, he, his, his core method of consuming nostalgic material at this point is the weird nostalgia bait fandom, fan games created <laughs> from it. Right. I find that a, a beautiful. <laughs> Firehawk said, yeah, that was a Bob moment. <laughs> oh my god, Silver Raid also says, lol, that's totally a Bob trophy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Danny Richardson says, just got, got here, so does it suck? Bob, how's the input latency on a game like Golden Axe here? It's not as noticeable as the last one I was playing, but it's still pretty bad. Yeah, Bob played like, Space Harrier 2, I played Sonic Spinball, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic 2, a little bit of Sonic 1. You might notice I played a lot of Sonic. See, that's how we're gonna break it up. I'm gonna hand you the controller for all the non-Sonic games. It's so hard to deal with. I am really worried that it is collect a total of 200 magic. Because I think each magic thing is 50. I could be wrong. Someone, some master... Do you think that's like filling the whole, whole thing up then? Maybe that's... Uh, I, mm, I don't know, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. We'll... Uh, Danny Richards says, oh shit, I love denim, Dynamite Hetty. Denim Hetty. Denim Hetty. Uh, Brennan O'Sullivan says, I'm worried how Alien Soldier handles in the collection now. Yeah, no, that game's hard as fuck on original hardware. Wait, I did they put it in this one? Um, 
if it's not in this one, it's on the PC collection. I'm pretty sure it's in this, though. I'm pretty sure My Life in Gaming included it in the footage of their review. Jay Blue says, I cannot believe it. Uh, what Deb typo are you talking about, Jay? He says, I wonder if we'll see the Deb typo. D-E-B, Deb. Yeah, Firehawk's betting it's collect 200 vials. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, which is insane. That is insane. That's a lot. That's like, uh, what, four runs of the game? Probably. I didn't really die. <laughs> you were powering up. <laughs> Cause how much magic do you think you've picked up to this point? Probably like maybe six. six. Yeah. 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 No, this seems. Yeah. This seems so maybe maybe, maybe hard. work on something else. Cause yeah. that's gonna take forever. So what do we? And what it's not two player, right? It is two player. Like okay, I said, so that's definitely something we would want to do with two people. You're right. Because in theory, you could get more. So what? What magic. else? I don't know. Look at the trophy list. Uh, there was something with tre Streets of Rage three. Keep going. There it is. Finish the game on normal or hard. Whoa, that's a lot. Shadow Dancer, complete the first two stages without, without using, using magic. magic. You got this, Bob. All right. Yeah, I can do that. I'm. I've almost, I think I've played this game like once. Alex Kid one up there's horse shit. Win 50 games of paper, rock, scissors. That wouldn't be random, would it? Mm, wait. Danny Richardson says, I'm pretty sure Gunstar Heroes will give you the latency test you desire, Dan. Oh no, believe me, Sonic was enough. I've been playing Sonic 2 a okay, decent just bit. How to answer. Yeah. Just making sure that that's what I read. Don't worry, I would I would have caught it if you threw it in the wrong game. <laughs> Now we need to find out what the magic button is so I don't hit it. So you have to find out by hitting it, is what yeah, I'm hearing. Yeah. You know, you could, just, you could just find the jump and the hit button and assume, since it's a Genesis controller, that you, the, the, the next button would be the magic yeah. button. Yeah. Well, I mean, if I luck out and find those two first. I, I figure those are going to be on X okay. and Square. All right, they are. Good. You're charging up your dog. Rough, rough, rough. Oh. Oh, that's what... Bob remembered what Shadow Dancer was like. Yeah, no, I... Like I said, I have... I've barely ever played this. Yeah. No, I've seen videos, though, and... Yeah, you, you just experienced Shadow Dancer. Oh, man, help out that guy who's dancing. That, uh, rewind button will serve you well. Man, this game looks a billion times better than Space Area 2, goddammit. Oh, my God. Aha! I undo you! Can't put my Z. <laughs> Jay Blue Give says, uh, the Deb typo. It's a typo in one of the levels of Golden Axe that has Deb instead of bed. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Oh, the dog got hurt. No, it's a tiny now it's dog. a tiny character. If you get close enough, you swing a sword. Yeah. Okay. But... Now you gotta deal with that dude. Oh man! You're like, ha ha, now my, now my dog's gonna, and then you get shot in the face. <laughs> Brennan Sullivan says, five more levels of space area. No way, 200 magic vials in a game with ear piercing music and screaming, let's go! Yeah, no, Sonic was more than enough for me to figure out the input latency. It's just disgusting. So yeah, this is a lot closer to Shinobi original. Yeah. Then, then three. Then Shinobi three. Yeah, Shinobi three's drastic change for a series. Yeah. Uh, Brandon Sullivan says, "Bob, can can we get a Zawarudo with every rewind? If I can remember." The Waldo. <laughs> what what's the other one? Uh, I think he just says Star Platoon. <laughs> yeah, Star Platoon. Um, but, uh, Firehawk says he's one life this game in the past, but it's pretty damn hard. I, yeah. He's noting you can't dog the larger enemies. I noticed that. <clears throat> that guy, I guess, is on the other plane, so I can't hit him? Yeah, that's what's going on here. 
That turns you into a T-Rex. <laughs> or a tiny raptor. Whoa! Oh man. Get out of here. This party's getting crazy. Trey says, I can do a better Zawarudo than that. Pro yeah. Uh, I don't I don't cosplay Dio. Okay. Oh, hey. I think that I think that's the trophy. Wow, that is the trophy. Alright. That's one of the more rare trophies. So Weird. be proud. Weird. People don't want to play a game called Shadow Dancer, evidently. I have a giant dumb beetle! Now I can use the magic! Oh my god. I love that guy from uh, Interstellar. See it's layers. <laughs> I dodged it, really. <laughs> oh, that didn't happen. <laughs> Whoa, shoot all ninjas. This one of the ninjas. This guy. This guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't have to do with that. Uh, very sharp. <laughs> Why they put me in film? I don't see you in any film, Bob. <laughs> Fair. That was neat. So Bob. I guess I should I, stop playing I this one. we have other things, other adventures to go on. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's play like half an hour of Sonic's Spinball. Yeah, I guess that one we, we like stopped when we got everything. Yeah, no, of course I did right. immediately. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that one. Unlike uh, certain other Sonic games. That... <laughs> no, 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 no. It didn't happen like that. Let me start over. The Bob of Persia. <laughs> yes. Um, Danny Richardson is asking if, uh, Comic Zone is on here, and Brendan Solomon says, yep. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Trip Dude says, it may look better than Space Area 2, but it doesn't- ah! When you die and rewind! <laughs> All right, well, um, get out of here. Was there an altered beast trophy? Oh, man, it'd be crazy if there wasn't, right? <laughs> Firehawk says that hurts to watch, Bob. Look, the input latency Alien is so soldier. bad, I can't stand it. Use four different weapon modes in one. Can you go up to Alien Soldier? Yeah, so hit the button in one session. Oh, sure, yeah, that's, that's easy, easy enough. And then we can see exactly how fucking nightmarish is this alphabetized? Yes, okay. Dre, Dre is holding the stream hostage and says, if you don't play Dynamite Hetty, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> um, I don't know if we can play the English patched version of the Japanese Rob from Dynamite Hetty. I think you can only do that on PC with the Steam Workshop, but... This is really bad sounding. Yeah. God, is it bad. What do you... What do you... Oh. <laughs> right. Slim Jim's Media Bin says, Hey guys, how's it going? Here's a small donation of two Australian dollars. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Slim Jim Media Bin. Sword Force. Hope Force. Beat out! Silvermane, Dre is already feeling sleepy. If we watch the full intro to the story to Alien Soldier, he will just pass out on his keyboard. <laughs> After this, though, we can at least check out Dynamite Head and see what's up with that. Go ahead. This do also that. just looks like it's running bad. Like, the actual game runs so much better than this. I guess the emulator really isn't up to, up to stuff for this. There we go. I did it. We're done. Okay, let's go check out. Okay, yeah, sure. I just wanted this to is, This is really bad. This is clearly dropping frames. Yeah, no, this Like, is... this emulator can't deal with this game at all, which isn't surprising. That game was insane. Yeah. That's fucking amazing. 
Space Duck says, and then Vito was back. <laughs> Silver Rain says, holy shit, that is so bad. Sullivan says, this is horrifying to watch. Man, I was I was planning on doing like a video comparison of the X collection and real, you know, real hardware. Right. Really, I should be doing this in real hardware because, you know, my life in gaming did a whole video and somehow this didn't get shown. Emergency. Yeah, that just looks wrong. Like the game's running at 30 frames per second or something. It's screen tearing everywhere in the middle. It's like yeah. unbelievable. I mean, the game did have screen tearing, but it, in a different way. Like, in that more retro sense. Like, the part where it was happening on his tail just now. Um, but not... Not what this is doing. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Firehawk says, Man, they could have just hired the guys who did Genesis Plus GX, which does 99% perfect Genesis on the Wii of all things. That would take a level of caring they were clearly not ready for. It'd be, it'd be great if more companies were like the Sonic division of Sega, which is clearly realizing fans can do a better job than them. Yeah. Bob, I hate to tell you this. Yeah, no, this you is... You are not winning this battle. No. You know, on the real version, I can beat this boss. I got pretty far. Yeah, Bob, Bob actually got slightly further than me in the real version. Okay, Bob, wait, what are you playing next? I don't, I don't know. Let's see what, uh, what trophies we need. I mean, there is the one where we just maxed out the magic and got Golden Axe 3. That is just... That shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, that shouldn't be that hard. Also, Golden Axe 2 is killed 25 enemies by Dances of Hula on. and to Toe Jam and Earl. I don't know how to do that, do you? Uh, I don't remember. So I, I remember how to get the six Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 1, though. I'm sure you do, Dan! Oh, wait, Shinobi 3. I bet Get a Shinobi bonus. The level was out throwing, throwing a, a shuriken. shuriken. Whoa. I didn't even know that was a thing. Good luck. I'd like to see you try that. Sure. I think that's amusing for a stream because of the rewind feature. You know what's great? Stick your uh, stick your box labels in the darkness. <laughs> right? I'm like, why is it like that? I can't even read it because it's dark. Because it's so realistic. It's so that's realistic. That's why you can't read it. Uh, I know that there's some way to start... The regular version of Shinobi 3 without any Shuriken, like... Uh, Firehawk's saying you can just completely disable Shuriken. Yeah. Yeah, so... Start. Modern games have ruined you. Yes. Shuriken. None. Zero. <laughs> they misspelled Shuriken. Yeah. Shurikens. I said it right, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> he runs. Everybody runs. It's a good thing. Please tell me this collection has Monster World 4, easily one of the best Genesis games ever made. Uh, I don't know. We'll check next time we go back. And then actually do Dynamite Heady for a second. Oh, yeah, right. So he's destroying shurikens at that guy. Oh, no, no, no! Now you gotta be careful. You can rewind, though. You know, if you're really worried. That's true. Ooh. Uh, Mr. Field saying they translated for PSN too, so it'd be weird if it wasn't here. Talking about Monster World 4, right? Let's see. AXM says, no Monster World 4. This collection is terrible. Uh, Space Man Spiff says, is Rocket Knight Adventure slash Sparkster okay here? Dre says, I sexually identify as a ninja. I'm a shuriken. See, like another kin. It's rough. Speaking of rough. Yeah, no, not having a shuriken is really weird, I have to say. Yeah, you should. Probably doing more running jumps and dive kicks. I can't figure out what about how this looks looks wrong. All the more reason I should actually make a comparison video. But you know. 
Yeah, you guys should try that at some point to laugh at how inspired of all how it inspired all of Shantae. Yeah, no. That game is very Shantae. Monster <laughs> World Forearm Monster Girl. Yeah. Is that her name? Um, I don't remember. Whatever. But yeah, I, I've seen it. Um, it is so Shantae as fuck. And honestly, it, it's really great. Really pretty, nice sense of world. Nice sense of the wall, though. Yep. I think he did it. Was that it or? Okay, it's, just, it's probably. This is still stage one? Yeah. Rough. Oh, you should undo that. You, you're done to your last three hits. I, th I think you should start retconning hits occasionally. Oh, almost. Almost. No, not quite. Almost. Oh, you can duck under that shit? Yeah. Because it's clearly hitting you. Right. This is the part I didn't. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. It does feel like it's dropping frames badly, says Firehawk. Yeah, something about it just looks fucking wrong. Like, yeah. it's scripting, skipping frames. It honestly doesn't look as vibrant as it does on real Genesis. Like, with RGB, obviously. 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 What else would anyone use? I don't know. I don't even know. I've never even seen an emulator. <laughs> Some of them just... Oh. Mm -mm. Nah, that was too risky. Yeah. You can land in the waterfall, though. Oh. No, the waterfall's a pit. Yeah? Yeah, the first one. You mean the one on the left? Yeah. Okay. Look at this guy. I ain't no boss, I'm just some guy. That, that was bullshit. Yeah, no, he does that sometimes. His... Why does he... I don't know what's going on there. Uh, just try to jump and slash him. There we go. You're like stumbling into the fucking sword. And it's like he's dead. Why would the sword hit me? It's fucking dead. It's over. Fucking drop it. Oh, I can get two hits in like that. Yeah. Fancy. You shinobi techniques all the time. This is helping you learn and grow as a shinobi player. That's Bob's name, by the way. Metal shinobi player. <laughs> Y'all better do some patriotic shiz later today. Yeah, I'm working. That's so patriotic. That's my patriotic duty, making sure people can be capitalist at every fucking second of their life. Okay. Oh, that's health. Yeah, I probably should have been checking those for health and not just be like, they have jerkins, no! I was just afraid they would explode. Man, good luck with this asshole. Oh, that's right. He flies away like super magic bullshit. A desert strike stream seems very patriotic. Yeah? He does not appreciate you doing that, I'm no. <laughs> Dre says, Metaru Shinobi Prayer! Spaceman Spiss says, I love working on the fourth. Get paid time and a half, and no one is out shopping. I. I don't think that's gonna be true for me at all. I'm working in a liquor store. <laughs> I feel like someone's gonna go, we drank all 3,700 beers I bought yesterday. Do you have them? And I'll go, no, go in the main store, cause we just have booze. You can't afford that for the force, that's not even American. <laughs> can't, wait, you can't afford to go in the main store? You can't afford real liquor? Like real liquor? No, you just, the force is about drinking beer. Dude, I sold so care. much fucking expensive liquor today, it was absurd. A guy bought a $230 bottle. It was a present. I don't know if it was a 4th of July present or what. He's just buying it for someone else. He's like, I've never... This is the most expensive bottle I've ever bought for someone else. Then he was like, this is more expensive than any bottle I'll bought for myself. <laughs> I was like, I hope so. Ooh, 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 oh, oh, no. Please don't toss my salad, samurai. I guess I could be using the magic, but it's too late now. Dan, I feel bad for you. Uh, yeah, I'm... Yeah. There we go. Now it's easy. Done. Uh, Danny Richardson says, When I worked retail, holiday pay was gold. I graduated to paid holidays, though, which are guiltily good. Hey, there you go. You did, nailed it. And the game identified it. My, my heart 
doesn't rest until the game gives me the trophy. Right. Uh, so what are you doing next, Bob? Because I can do some stuff. Yeah, Sonic, Sonic 1 and all the yeah. Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, all right, here you go, Dan. Have your crack. I figure I figure you could like do some Dynamite Heady. Just oh, right, Dynamite Heady. Sure. But, uh, I'll, I'll play Dynamite Heady. Sure. Dino Mutt Heady. Let, right. me, let me see if um. Go back and uh. We get that region thing, JP. Prince Omar wants to know what the name of that trophy we just got was. That was at the bottom there. Uh, keep your powder. Keep your dry. powder dry. Here you go, Bob. I selected the Japanese region. Ooh. Blood comes out every time he shoots his head off. All right, I have basically no experience with this game. Pretty meta, huh? Opening demo, now playing. Yeah. What? Oh man, they actually put it in like a uh, play. Fakun. Yakun. Naked babies. Oh. Does this have a trophy? No. No. But playing it gets us closer to another trophy that wants us to play a bunch of games. Man, this is a turn. Okay. There's dynamite. You okay there, dynamite? No. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. What is going? What is? Oh, Dan, I don't know. King Dark Demon. Demo two pipe. <sighs> what? But you were just being strangled by that one thing. He captured you, I guess. Oh, and then he sent you to this sort of sorting facility. Yes. And now you're being sent to the incinerator. Okay, I got this. Oh, hey, look at the dust, man. It's insulting, Dan. What? I take offense no. to that. This time I'm gonna beat him. He's kidnapping all your friends. No. That's terrible. Throw my head at him. Like biting him. My crotch. <laughs> I'll teach him. Oh no, he's left. Are you jumping on that? That was. Oh no. no that is. That's shooting at you. Okay. It was neat that they taught you that on a screen where it definitely wouldn't hit you. <laughs> but I guess that's over. Pretty impressive intro. Oh yeah, no. Like all treasure games, it's uh, very... Very uh, meta. Um, it's worrying. Oh no! He's so powerful! Bug <laughs> is with this game. Ouch! I feel like you didn't cause him to fall over at all. I feel like you're supposed to just dodge? And then he stops being invincible on the ground. What a weird game. Yeah. Oh. Well, that's over, I guess. I did it. I really don't like the design of the main character in this. He's really freaking me out. Yeah? You don't like the fact he's some weird beat thing? Yeah, no. With a detachable head, he 
shoots at stuff. Yeah, no, it's, it's weird. Brenner Sullivan says, uh, so I've never played this game before and I'm very confused as to what I'm saying. Uh, by the way, they were saying hit the light, but, oh. you know, it's a bit late. Um... Town, okay. Uh, Dre points out, well, he is a puppet. Is that what's going on here? I feel like English would have been helpful here. Yes. I feel like we've just made things even more complicated. Oh, now you're full of energy, right? Okay, it's just showing me letting us full of powers. Oh man, this one's really hard to do anything with. I just have to wait for the bomb to go off. Side of my head, he's a really weird game. Yeah, it is. Um, you should try hitting the light, though. Since they were saying it would do something in the other area. Nope. Okay. Yeah, yeah I think this is literally just an area to test out the powers. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, yeah Drake was noting it was, uh, optional. Whoa. Now that's freaky. Yeah. I could deal with this design before. This is really, this is really wigging me out. And then he becomes Warman. Yeah. Okay, how do I end this? Oh, it's it's over now. There. You press an all the touchpad. That's how you end. It. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That, that game is neat. That guy in town seems questionable. Bob, are there any other games you wanted to play before handing it off to me? Um, let's see what other ones have trophies. Uh... People are pointing out that you turned into Dustman back there. That power. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, th that's for all Golden Ask games, so... Oh, wow, okay, that's yeah. that's helpful. Um, to rate right, three, finish the game on... A normal hard difficulty. Oof, that's a lot. It is a lot! It's a lot for a guy who said Final he was gonna boss. go to sleep by four. You know, that's an hour from now. So I, I definitely wouldn't try to beat Streets of Rage 3. Shining force. Make it to the Tolberone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're supposed to defeat the Robo Collector. What's the Robo Collector? Hey guys, where's the Robo Collector? Is that really deep in the game? It probably is only like at level. It's probably on the next screen. Probably. It's probably back there. Wait. Triangle. Oh, well. Now exit. Now hit triangle. <laughs> don't, don't, don't think about it. Trip Tune Radio says Dan, I feel but Oh, wait. It scrolled back a shitload. The Robo Collector was the first stage that was collecting all the puppets. Oh, so. So he needs to restart the game? Apparently. AXM's freaking out over the thought of being able to beat that thing. Yeah, that seems like it was an impossible fight. And yet, that's the thing I assumed was the Robo Collector, because right. it's a robot that collects. Oh, yeah. That's neat. But, um... <laughs> it just rips out cartridge. But you reset back in the day, right? You rip it out, yeah. yeah just like, who cares? That is a pretty cool logo. Intro. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes Queen Slay. You got it this time, I'm sure. Hit the light. No? Okay. Wonder if you can even die. Yeah, he didn't seem like he was hurting me. You can sit right on it and attack rapidly, yeah. This is ridiculous. We designed the game where it's like the first boss doesn't hurt you, so you're so 
Live it. Hug its nuts and slave your head into its dick. Okay. So we all escaped. Give me the trophy. And then the plague murders your friends. Man, it's weird. Your friends scroll off screen anyway. Right? Huh. Also, it's not giving me that trophy. No, I bet I'll do it when the stage ends. I need that going on. Can't skip this. I guess that thing's name is Nariyama or Hariyama. Yeah, that thing's pattern is just dodge its insanely long invincible attack. Do you even have a health bar? Is, is the li I thought the light's your health bar. It's been you need to be hitting him. See, dodge during this. Right. Then he shoots shit to the left. And then he stands Maybe up. Maybe only in front of him hit person during the panting. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's just invincible. I don't know. Dre, Dre says Maruyama. You know, is his name not Haruyama. Maybe like everything in this game, it's just, okay, yeah, it's only in front where that works. Amazing. But yeah, I don't like the yellow now, so. But yeah, they're noting you can hit its head, which you just found out. But yeah, now it is your health bar. You seem increasingly unhappy. Why did those not hurt you? I don't know, man. That's pretty weird. This game is real weird. You can fast forward with the RC. So it still hasn't given me that trophy. But why? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe because we're on that the weird Japanese version? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, and that sucks. Like, come on guys, design it better. Right? Okay, well, let's, let's jump out to the English version and find out. How do we change it? Uh, you go back to the other screen via hitting back. Uh, then you highlight Dynamite Heady, which is to the right. One more. Or one more. Now. Now. Keep. Sorry. There. Yeah. Uh, L3. There you go. That sucks, man. Yeah. Now the real trick is to do this in fast forward. There he is. Honestly, this thing's name is Robo Capture or whatever. Capture. Yeah. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be shocked. Cause what else is there in this game that earns it more than that? Yeah. Oh, damn it. <coughs> God damn it. That really pisses me yeah. off. Bob, sure. I, I just want to see what the bot says. Uh, his here. name's Trouble Bru Bruin in the States. Well, oh, and he looks different, too. Still he says his Japanese name. Why does it say H? Hi? Is it for high health? I don't know. Also, that's a very different pattern. And it hurts you. Okay, so that's uh, enough. Weird. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Silver Raid's really triggered by how bad that was. The the not triggering the proper yeah. like yeah. trophy. Yeah, that's uh, once you get a lot, you get a lot of that junk in these horror collections. <laughs> Anybody know how to dance the hula? 
<laughs> Sounds like here. I'll do Alex Kidd if someone else will look up how to dance the hula. I, I want to play some Streets of Rage before we stop for the night. Okay. I wish I like went into work really late so that I could stay up even later and just absurdly not sleep <laughs> so I could better deal with tomorrow. Uh, Toad says you have to find hula girls. Hula girls? Yeah, hula, gir hula, hula dance equal to get near a certain enemy that has a hula dance is an area effect, area effect. Could be doable quickly. The hula girls are, hula girls are enemies? That's weird. Fucking Alex, kid. Yeah, to Rodriguez says the guitar are appealing really early in the game. Secret level zero, aren't they? Okay. Toad says, nice Freakazoid reference, Dan. Always. Oh my god, Alex Kid. I... I didn't know Alex Kid was a thing for the longest time. Me neither. Didn't like, find out until, like, PS3 gen. Yeah, like, when, when we started seeing internet videos about it, and I was like, this is the Sega mascot! I was like, the no. what? False. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, hipster. See, I just... I was after that rice. God, yeah. Yeah, no. The funny thing is, this is worse than the other Alex Kid games I've tried. Like, uh, the ones on the Master System. Uh, Brandon O'Sullivan says, yeah, because in the 90s, Hula Girls are not funky humans and aren't aliens from Funkotron. So I guess that's why they're enemies. Thanks, Brendan. Prince Silverman says this was supposed to be like super, really super early Genesis, I think. Oh, incredibly. But that doesn't excuse it. Oh, God, that bird. Like it's just bad art. AXM says Alex Kid in Miracle World on the Master System was the first game I or was one of the first games I ever played. I enjoyed the first level, nothing else, because screw that part where you get the bike. Yep. <laughs> Alex it's Kidd. Sonic! Alex Kid was at least this loud. <laughs> Prince of Races, it looks like they took a Master System game and upped the sprite quality. Yes, that's exact, and it feels like it too. It feels like one of those garbage fucking Master System games. Sega, with their amazing games, as always. That they make in under three months. <laughs> so, oh no, Brandon O'Sullivan, we, we played, we played decent bit Chosen of Neural. Uh, I, uh, he just explained the premise of it, and I, you know that, right? Okay, maybe it's just me and Agro that owned that growing up and yes. played the stupid about, and was like, it's a weird game. I would, I would watch that stream, just you two playing Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> I'd, I'd watch that, because it'd prevent me from being a part of it. <laughs> Prince Lumray says, why would they put this on the collection? This is supposed to be the best of the Genesis? <laughs> no, no, they just said it was a it classic, was classic collection. Far from the best. Okay, so I haven't gotten in one fucking paper, rock, scissors fight. I just am not finding these dudes, I guess. Brendan O'Sullivan says, I would watch that stream too. There you go. We gotta set it up. Man, I'm just, like, kicking the shit out of everything. Spaceman says he loved, uh, Toe Jam and Orbus's brother. Then they, they released two and it was totally different. Yeah, no. They were, like, make it into a platforming game and he's like, uh, what? Uh, Helio Number 2 says, hello, Gigaboys, I'm going to bed now. <laughs> uh, I guess goodbye? <laughs> Have a good night. Enjoy the stream tomorrow. Yeah, you can do two-player on, uh, Toad Jam and Earl. That's the thing. It's, it has a split screen. This music sounds like it's directly ripping off the song. Well, now it really sounds like it's 
like a billion different things. So yeah, Alex Kidd's an amazing game. Oh my god, it's so bad. I don't even... It's okay. Those anteaters, they just pop out of the ground like, hey, hey, that's gonna hurt you. All right, I'm going back down. <laughs> it's like, what is the world is happening? You think Alex Kidd knows? Look at his goddamn face. <laughs> he seems fine with whatever happens. True. You number two says will do. I really thought you'd walk up that. I haven't paper rock scissored a single person. I think it's at the end of each level. Bob, I've gone through six levels. Uh, at the end of each zone? I don't know. Bob, did, I've drastically I, changed aesthetic I that. five times. Man, I know, I get that. I want to believe there's something we're missing here. I think I'm accidentally beating the shitty Alex Kidd game. Uh, I think Sega just tricked me. Space Man uh, notes that those are ant lions, it's not ant eaters. Something totally yes, different. Yeah, yes. no, you're right. Oh, oh you're gonna, you can rock paper scissors this guy, I'm sure. It's a lady, but yes. Man. Hey, Marco. This is, I rarely see you guys stream, so this is a nice surprise. What's the name? Uh, Marco Villiam. Oh, hey, how's it going? How many times do you do this? Um, don't think about it. 50 times, is that right? Is it 50? Is it, is it something crazy like that, Dan? Brendan O'Sullivan says Alex Kidd is Japanese Bubsy as far as I'm concerned. You are correct. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now I've got a save file set up so we can just keep loading this so I can keep winning. Junk Gimp Po! AXM wants to know, why do his eyes look like that most of the time? Oh man, that's terrible! <laughs> oh my god, dance. <laughs> A fucking awful game. Princess Old Rain says, so you can save state? Yes, yes we can. Hopefully it works right. It will. You were just lucky. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna die if we... <laughs> what, do you, what do you got against Alex Kidd here, Bob? Everything! <laughs> I could have been playing Yves Osa Velgana. They gave me that game last night. Thank you, everyone, for giving me stream games. Things that aren't Alex Kidd! <laughs> Things that aren't Alex Kidd! I can't believe it. Uh, Brandon says, I think this trophy is just there to make sure you have the same trauma as Japanese kids growing up. But, well, see, if they wanted that, then they should have disabled the rewind part. Right? Because that's the thing, guys. This is completely random. Uh, Jay Blue says, I really wish they would experiment with other platformer IPs again, like Alex Kidd or Rystar. <laughs> Would be cool to see what they can do with them after all these years. Look, they just got to Sonic working at all, and they're still making bad Sonic games. They just let the fans make good ones. I don't trust them to do anything right. I wonder if I could just keep doing this, and that's the whole reason this trophy exists. Maybe. <laughs> see you, Dragonix is like, you stop playing Alex or Dying by Henny for this. KXM says, I wish Sonic would make literally anything outside of Sonic, Niku, and Yakuza. I wish Sonic would make or anything. Sega. Oh, okay. But uh yeah, no, I would be to see them work on some of their other older IPs. Or just like Tails. Just give Tails a game. Worked really great one time. Probably would work great again. Uh, Marco is uh, disappointed that the collection doesn't have Bob, one of his favorite games as a kid. Hey, Bob. Hey. You played Bob. Yeah. It's a neat game. It was pretty neat. 
I ran that a lot as a kid. <laughs> Prince Silverman says Tales Adventure was an open world crafting system. <laughs> Fuck it, sure. I'm just left to believe that they intentionally did this because they hate me for having bought their collection. Yeah. Um, Th this collection doesn't have anything to do with that that one guy, right? Um, that guy who did the Street Fighter collection. Um, Iron Galaxy? No, it's for the 30th anniversary. That one guy who did the 30th anniversary. I the, the main the main guy who runs that studio. He does a lot of game historian stuff. You're talking about Frank Savaldi? Yeah. No. Okay. Not every emulation thing is <laughs> made by that guy. Right. Okay, so these are alphabetical. Prince Silverman wants to know if the trophies have a counter on them. I don't think so. They don't, because they're not achievements, and achievements have trophy have track. Actually, you know what? They they changed that at some point, if I remember correctly. No, I guess they don't. Maybe I'm not looking for challenges. Maybe I'm looking for... Yeah. Okay, maybe in game it's counted. Oh, so good job, Bob. You're at 8. Right. Good job, me. I'm at 27. So it is working. Oh, no. <laughs> that means you can probably do the same sort of trick with the, the magic in, um, in that, too. It's almost like they knew that. It's almost like that's the point of all of this madness. Prince Silverman says, Spectre Man, play that! The worst part is he probably doesn't even know the meme. Probably not. Okay. <laughs> I think Vector Man looks cool. I don't think it's a great game. But I, I thought I enjoyed it as a kid because it was a cool looking game. Uh, but it's not real. We've convinced uh, Dr. Agro that it isn't and we have to hold to that. We can't let him see any of these collections. We can't let him see us play it, because then he'll realize that game is actually real. And that we've been, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, haze lighting him this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a kid, I actually won a, um, ah, oh, man, what was those, um, this fucking game. What trash. Uh, what are those? Snack meals you'd get as a kid for for school that had like little pizzas. Lunchables. Lunchables. Snack meals. Yeah, lunchables okay. with the pizzas. Yes. Uh, Lunch <laughs> Becky's with the hairs. Yes. Um, where they had a contest for Vector Man. I believe it was Vector Man Two. And uh, I won it, and I never actually got the prize from it. Yeah, it was weird. Why do you have the weirdest track history with that? <laughs> I'm just lucky enough to get super disappointed. <laughs> Don't worry, if you got the game, you would have been just super disappointed too, because it's trash. <laughs> this is unreal. Why 50? Uh, Slim Jim Mini Man wants to know if we played Socket. I, okay, so what I did there does not count. The part where you tell her I won fuck off, bitch. Yeah. Not the correct part. Not the right part. No. Um, socket. Well, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember that one either. You know what? I'm just gonna keep rewinding. Brenda says Kid Chameleon is fun until the level design expressly makes a hatred of the players known. <laughs> Agreed. I played enough of that to experience that transition. Prince Silverman says, I remember that contest. They wanted you to draw a morph and send it in. I don't think that it was that one. It was literally one where you just open up the box and tell you if you won or not. But there's probably some other one with drawing going okay, on. So that counted. I know wise. People tuning in just now are very confused. Jay says, or Jay Blue says, I like Kid and Kimberlyn a lot. It was a little long to play without a safe feature, though. I saw, I don't think I played Kid Chameleon. This 
is a smart game, you know? <laughs> Did he think anyone's gonna enjoy this? Huh? Did he think anyone's gonna enjoy this? Uh, people watch speedrunners. <laughs> this is actually less repetitive than that. <laughs> I don't, like, the... The thought was out the teacher. The anyone's gonna want to play okay, this much okay. else. Okay, I thought you were talking about the people watching. No. Oh God, no. no. no they, did, they didn't. They didn't expect the... me to enjoy this. Like, it seems crazy. No, they did this. They did this because they thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Principal May points out that I'm dying. Chibiru says, "Oh my God, this the sound is my nightmares." <laughs> what is it doing right now? It just showed me a random human beings. Look, my cursor's what? gone. What? What? Oh my god. Okay, so... It doesn't want to get triggered like that. It needs the beginning of the setup. Man. How annoying. <laughs> it's like... Five more space hairy levels to get the ending? No, screw that. Uh, dynamite heady because several high clout people in the chat want it? Nah. Hey, we did that. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors was Japanese Busby. Bubsy, buckle up. <laughs> yeah, basically. She sounds like she's vomiting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Slim Jim Beauty says, you know, it's a great game when your b bosses are luck-based. Yeah, fucking... <laughs> Fritz Silvering just noticed what was going on there was the cursor going off into the leaderboards without switching. Uh-huh, How yeah. badly programmed is this? It's a fucking nightmare. The ride never ends. Okay, so that should be 38. That is such a hipster, he'd rather play this than a good game. So 39. 40. Wait a second, what am I doing? What's up? I'm supposed to be doing this. Clearly, they just want you to get experienced at the quick save and quick load feature. This is a fucking nightmare. Why'd they put this trophy in here? I don't know, man. You wouldn't do 50 paper, rock, scissors. There's no through the game. Uh, no worries. We're repeating this minigame hundreds of times to, <laughs> to get a trophy. It should have only been 50, but it's really ambiguous where the trigger is. Yeah. Trivia <laughs> says, is she saying pumpkin spice? <laughs> yeah, sure. I can I can hear why you hear that. Shadow <laughs> Darkness says, wow, what an exciting game. What's next? Watching paint dry? 3D? Oh, hey! Okay. So I never have to play Alex Kid ever again. Thank Jesus. What a miserable fucking game. Baseman says, this is how you, you guys know we love you. <coughs> because the game itself is horrible to watch. Yeah. I, I figure the, the enjoyment is watching us slowly die on screen. If that's not what you're into, then I don't understand the levels you've sent us. <laughs> um, say so hey Bob. Hey. I heard there's some sort of trophy in a good game. Um, like Golden Axe 3 for maxing out magic, but if you want to play Streets of Rage... Yeah, we should, what, what trophies do we have for Streets of Rage? Jack shit, Bob. I, is it all just beat it? I think the game. Streets of Rage 3 is the only one with the trophy, and that one is just literally beat it. But let me yeah, let me it. pop up with that. Get to the final boss without using a continue. Wow. What else? 
I mean, I love Sony's trophy set up here. Yeah, no, that's it. Finish the game on normal or get to the final boss without you. They using don't even have one for Streets of Rage 2, two the best one. Which is one? the best one, yeah. They are crazy. They are madmen. Yep. They are. But, you know, we can just play Streets of Rage. Like, two. Yeah, we, we can just, just play we it. We can just, just play it. Turns out this collection is intended to be enjoyed non ironically. <laughs> Prince Silverman, the, the input latency is brutal. It is pretty fucking bad. And John Kempo <coughs> is not 1 2 3 in Japanese, but I'm not sure what it is. It's basically paper, rock, scissors. It correlates yeah. to that. Yeah. Right, I know that, but I'm like, I feel like it's. You joining in or do you, yeah. do you want to play by yourself? I can play. Like I can manage the chat well. Totally. Uh, actually, YouTube has decided I'm not. Uh, Slim Jim Media Ben said, "Here's two more dollars for escaping that torture." I will be lady. You mean Blaze? Blaze. You can. I guess I'll be Max. Totally not here. Or, or Axel. I or guess. Axel. <laughs> <coughs> it sounds okay. That's good stuff. You gotta do your sure you can. I still think it's nuts that, like, Sega handed this off to an external developer. This is how well it came out. Right? I mean, it helps that this has an amazing soundtrack that is so stolen. Hey, stop punching me! No. You wanna, you wanna fucking do this? We can fucking do this. Fucking punch you, bitch. Fuck that. That's what I'll be like. Cause I remember my super moves. Where are your super moves? Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah, I've been doing that. Yeah. Neat. You, you take care of the light work. I'll uh, walk down this road and look handsome. <laughs> That's a uh, handsome is Japanese for writ, by yeah. the way. I'm not sure if you. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah. Joseph! Because we're Pac Man. <laughs> that looked like it hurt me more than it hurt them, but. You know, I've played a lot of this, but I really haven't played much of Final Fight. Um, really... Final Fight, I feel, isn't as good as Streets of Rage 2, honestly, but... A lot of that's the music. I'm curious about the opinions the chat has. Spaceman's put, put Axel, heart. <laughs> I laughed my ass off yesterday when you were like... Kyle Katara, you mean this hot piece of ass? And then you posted the in-game representation of him, and the Toad's like... Yeah, this guy. Post the live action. You're like, okay, now that, now that actually, <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Our Discord has a lot of funny moments, which is why you should go over to our Discord and ring the bell. <laughs> our Discord doesn't have a bell. Get back in the kitchen. <laughs> Stab, man. It takes forever to kill enemies sometimes because they just get hit and go flying. <laughs> Streets of Rage 2 is a really fun game, and it's fucked up they don't have any trophies for it. Yeah. They have challenges for it, and challenges are integral to get trophies, huh? So you came too close. I'm gonna keep doing this, and if you get hurt, that's your fault. There's I got some, this. There's some dude creeping off screen over here. Donovan. <laughs> Did you know every ah. black man is named Donovan? <laughs> yeah. Now you do. I could never fully get into beat em ups myself, but I do find Streets of Rage fun. Yeah, Streets of Rage, I feel like, is next tier. I'm like, is this a beat em up where it pulls out and runs you over? No, that's that's the arcade version of Double Dragon, if I remember correctly. I think this guy's tries to lie like crazy. Well, there is a knife on the ground, so there's some evidence to that. 
Oh. <laughs> Get over here, motherfucker. Yeah, you dance at him, Bob. You show him Steve Dave. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So excited. Well, oh, Jesus, he just comes right off screen. That's very lewd if he's doing that right off screen. <laughs> oh, motherfucker. No, look the other way, Axel. Axel, sweetie, darling. There we go. There's the second health bar. Yeah, we should have just been doing some of that, actually. Right. Yeah. Beat him up. You want to know the super pro tip speedrunner tactic? Oh. Tactic to beat enemies? Tap two or three punches, wait. Tap two or three punches, wait, and just loop that forever. Yeah. I'm gonna get some food in one of these tables. Choo choo, <laughs> motherfucker. I think Vestro is really good in this place. Just like, smash him <laughs> on the ground. Yeah. Gonzalez! See, now we're Donovan. That one's Gonzalez. That, that one's Donovan, though. <laughs> <laughs> don't, want to, don't want to get too caught up in not being in, funny. In all the not Donovans. Just out of respect. I like that it's just tapping forward twice and yeah. hitting the attack button. Get over here. I'm so upset. Am I back here? No. Okay. Sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, R signal. <laughs> I do dislike the lack of running. Yeah, it is weird coming or not having that. Yeah. I can't remember if they added that in three. I don't think they did. Sorry, Donovan. I know how much you like getting punched twice before I whip your ass. Just eat this money! <laughs> Getting triggered right now. He's so evil. Electra. Hey, Bob. <laughs> We're good people. Yeah. We're definitely good people. We're the good guys, right? Definitely. I mean, you saw that. She was coming right at us. We didn't just beat up a stripper for no reason. We would never. <laughs> Why didn't they ever release a soundtrack for this game? Like a like a CD version, you know? Mm. It could have been full of licensed music. <laughs> Yeah, boy. I killed your boss. Now none of you are real. Man, I didn't even hit the boss. I was just trying to keep him off you. I like how you wildly pummeling, like, hooligans is you're like, I was protecting you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good game. Yeah. It's, it, the input latency is tolerable in this game. It's no Sonic. That's a tragedy of Sonic. Really not good with input lag. I mean, 3D Mario ain't great either, but probably more tolerable. Oh. Yeah. Galzia? And these names. Z? Z. Mike Z. Watch out, Bob. He might tell you how you're totally balanced. <laughs> nah, man. I don't think beat map characters have to worry about that. You know, I do hear people constantly compare beat-em-ups to fighting games, and that's really weird to me. Because not a lot of beat-em-ups have anywhere near the depth of move list. Oh yeah, no, they're super simplistic, typically. Oh man, what a great lead pipe to hold while I get stabbed like a bitch! <laughs> 
I think how he just comes up to you and he's like, can you be my bitch? And you're like, no. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that. Oh, that was, that was neat. That was a neat thing I did. Woo! Let's see if I can, yeah! Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I'll just eat these gold bars. You eat the, uh, okay. You know, maybe you've had, you've had enough to eat. To eat. <laughs> the suplex. Oh, no! You didn't let me finish. <laughs> just jumping backwards, kicking at him. That's funny. Ooh. Oh, my God. You know, I told you we should have come on a different weekend. It's just these bike week is just awful. This, this is a ridiculous parade. <laughs> the Mad Max Pride Parade is really, really just just gaudy. If nothing else, just insanely gaudy. Yeah, that two flex is real good. <laughs> oh Jesus! There was a fly on you. Oh, I was gonna. Walks through this truck while these dudes beat off watching you walk through this truck. And I'm like, I, I feel like maybe I don't want to be an leave. active agent <laughs> in this. But okay. Probably. Yeah, one sec. People want some of this. <laughs> Daffy Duck over here. <laughs> cool move. Oh, right, you hit both and you hit backwards. Did you know that? I used to. I forgot, though. And I as well. But what if I kept going? Because I actually just did a completely different move. I don't like how that went for us. Maybe we, we do a second take where we're way cool again. Yeah, yeah. That. there we go. Take that, Hakio. Oh, shit! This time we'll see it coming. Yeah, right? Oh, oh. fuck, help! Yeah, that is just bullshit. There we go, we're perfect. Oh. <laughs> Man, we're so good at this game. Yeah, look at that. It's so amazing. I wonder how we can possibly... <laughs> Did I just backflip the Dude, wall that's away? fucking awesome. <laughs> okay. We should, we yeah. should probably... Yeah, that's probably... We should probably <laughs> stop. We're having too much genuine fun. That's not what this is about. That's not what this is about. This is about Bob maybe leaving for sleep at some point, possibly. Mm -hmm. And Dan deciding how full-blown crazy he's gonna go midstream. You know, I would like to complete one challenge. Let us see what the challenges are in Sonic 2. Finish Emerald Hill Zone with five lives. Wait, no. This... Wait, there is no challenge for Sonic 2? What the fuck is wrong with you? No Streets of Rage, no. Sonic 2. Well, Streets of Rage might have. Oh, okay. Because challenges are not trophies, Bob. There, yeah, right, right. So that's a that's a trophy. That's a challenge. With a full bar of health. I mean, with the, if it lets you use the rewind feature, right? Uh, Spaceman points out that Genesis has some great co-op games, and uh, Jay Blue says uh, it did. Uh, Golden Axe Three has new moves that only are only available in co-op. Oh, cool. Uh, there's been modern Streets of Rage would be dope. Yeah, no, that'd be really cool if they came back to Streets of Rage. Why is Virtua Fighter 2 here? What the? Take control of Kagemaru. What? That's a that's a legendary version of that game, Bob. That's Legendarily we, bad. That's why we played it on the weekly meeting. Okay, so I'm supposed to win this fight as Kagemaru. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like we've seen them remake that in Pop Team Epic, but I'm not sure. Yes, I, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> 
This is a really tough match to come back from. Uh, Stacyman wants to know if anyone played General Chaos. Yeah, that's right, you push her the fuck out. Bitches get stitches! Bitches get wrung out! Bob's never... <laughs> oh, 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 come on! Damn it, Pi. I like how we we looked it up and it was like, oh yeah, no, this is this game looks This was awful. unreasonably late, yeah. Oh my god! Okay. I'm gonna get this though. Fucking can you give me a goddamn second? God fucking This isn't your scene? No, this is too much. What? I thought you loved it on the weekly meeting. No, no one did. Hey! hey everyone did. did. Everyone did. Did anyone like that uh, time we played this game for the weekly beating? I'm sure people thought it was hilarious. Maybe you should check the comments for that video instead of asking the 30 people who were up at this ungodly hour. This <laughs> is like, no, we 25. all hated it. That's what the comments said? Totally, they all said that. I don't remember, I feel like I would have remembered that because I would have tweeted it and thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Fucking, oh my god. I hate you so much. Oh. They, want, they want to know if there's uh, rewind and challenges. No. Of course no. not. No, because, because you know, then I would be able to do it. Timmy Drew points out that Pi's victory pose is the only good part. And it's true, it's just so insane. I mean, that is that is one of my favorite parts because it's so weird. I don't. I need to see what Pi's victory po pose is in 3D to see if it's even remotely Try, like if that. It's even trying for that, right? That's fair. Because that's that's ludicrous. Why would you do that? I wonder if the Virtua Fighter characters are gonna be back in um, uh, Dinner Life Six. Yeah, I wonder too. Oh my God! This bitch. <laughs> so, Bob. I uh, Jimmy Drew says that's supposed to be her doing the crane pose. I don't get- I don't see it, but... It's open to interpretation. <laughs> Man. What the wrong with these people? Why would they do this? I don't know, Dan. This you game's did... hard enough to play. Like, do, do they really need to start me at this major deficit? <laughs> Why could it just be... Play this game. Tolerate this game. How how honorable. Oh, okay. Shimmer Drew is saying that that's what's supposed to be in the 3D games. Okay. Not. not. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> it looks closer to that weird thing that Nero is doing in those uh, devil trigger dances. <laughs> is that in the music video? <laughs> Nero does some devil trigger dance? Yes, totally. Is it like the Macarena? <laughs> <laughs> Prince Silverman points out this dabbing 25 years before it was a thing. Oh yeah, no, Japan had dabbing technology perfected yeah. centuries ago. <laughs> God help me. Oh man.
I heard that emulator. I heard you prank as you just went, time to be a cheap asshole. <laughs> you almost crashed thinking about how much of a cheap fucking asshole you would be. God, this is unreasonable. Why did they make any challenges for any good games? I don't know. Let's like... hear you, bitch. <laughs> I can't deal with her. It's too much. It's too intense. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's Sega High School or Seha Girls. You know, we're thinking. Oh, maybe. About... Oh, 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 oh. Maybe. No, that sounds like a likely candidate for doing that insanity. Something that would reference that stupidity, yes. <laughs> okay. What and, other what other challenges do we have? Yeah. There's gotta be a challenge in a good game. Wonder Boy and Monster World. No, that's okay. Where are the challenges for the Shinobi games? Shinobi games. There's one. There's two. There's oh, Shadow, Shadow Dance. Dance. Silly me. The one that's not named Shinobi is Shinobi. What a... That's dumb. I don't even want to do that. Because it's not... It's just play this level. Weird, there are no challenges for the Fantasy Star games. Can you believe that? What, what is... Unbelievable. Wonder what sort of challenges <laughs> Alex Kidd <laughs> There weren't any challenges for Alien Soldier? Weirdly enough, no. They were just like, no. And then Alien Storm doesn't have challenges or trophies. It literally just takes you to the leaderboard. Because it's like, look, man. Get out. Altered Beast Altered also doesn't Nothing. have a trophy. Nothing. Doesn't have a challenge. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Okay, at least, at least, at least that's, wow, that's, that's a low standard, Dan. This collection has challenges for so many bad games that I'm like, ro Robotics Mean Bean Machine, sure! I'll play an objectively terrible version of Puyo Puyo. <laughs> it's fine. I need this. Crystal Man says they should have had a challenge for Fantasy Star. Yeah, no, they're not gonna do it. They just don't. They're cowards. Triptune says, isn't it obvious Dan's letting Pi win because he, he would never beat a woman? I think you saw me in Streets of Rage. <laughs> when Bob got out of hand, I knew what to do. <laughs> Bob's like, oops, I accidentally stabbed you, Ugu. And I'm like, I've had enough of this, bitch. I saw your time part where we uh, both stood next to the hooker and just beat her to just death. Beat her to death. Yeah, there's, there's also that. There's a lot of precedent, as it turns out. Good job, Dan. You're fucking winning. You're such a goddamn winner. Hey, Bob. Hey. Did you know Mean Bean Machine is a version of Puyo Puyo with no charm? <laughs> yes. It's true. Literally removed all of it. It sucked it out. It, it fucking opened the blast chamber and sucked it in goddamn space. It's like, this charm's too dangerous. Kill it. Kill it with motherfucking fire. Why, why am I saying I'm watching you play this madness? What is wrong with me? I could just be in my bed. You could. Trying to sleep, watching an Yasha. <laughs> you know, Bob, there's some things we probably shouldn't bring up on the channel. I, I feel like maybe they don't have to know everything about our personal lives. <laughs> Whatever. They they understand. They like an Yasha, I'm sure. <laughs> no one actually enjoys an Yasha. We've all... The rest of us have been kidding. <laughs> the whole time. Oh, that's not a good start. Fritz Lawyer says, Watch again, Yasha! Bob, get out! <laughs> Is that Silvermane, dude? And then Brendan says, Trying to sleep, Bob, get out! <laughs> uh, See, Bob, they don't want you to sleep. Um, and then Toast says, Yasha, Kagome! Yasha, Kagome! Yeah, that's, that's what Bob Toon's in for. Yeah. He, he writes down how many times they say it per episode. <laughs> 
<laughs> for some reason, that just does it for him. That's all I want. But, uh, Spaceman says, So, Bob, who is cooler? Inuyasha or Shishomaru? I mean, obviously Shishomaru. They, they try, try I, really hard to make I it super cool. School, if, <laughs> can I get out of this hellscape? I'm sorry I'm playing Bean Bean Machine. I get it, okay? <laughs> No, why says it's okay, Bob. I've been watching the first season of OG Yu-Gi-Oh! on Netflix. <laughs> At least it's season one. Yeah, the, the, that that one's actually somewhat respectable. Oh man. I got, I got a trophy for beating a challenge. And I did it on my first try. Woo! Yay. Well, Bob, you know what comes after that. What's that? Restar? Oh. Oh. I see. Are you gonna try to get a platinum tonight? Is that what this is? I mean, I if I did have to work tomorrow, yeah, that's probably what this stream would be. I probably would have named it that. Gotten some energy drinks ahead of time. That would have been delightful. Look at this bullshit game. Good thing Halcyon's not here. It sucks. <laughs> he materializes. Ass, ass, ass. This game is total ass. <laughs> Sonic 1 has its charm, okay? Sonic 1 is a great game when you don't compare it to any other Sonic game in the mainline series. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The Pristle Ray says, there's no way you could get all these trophies in one night, Dan. Dude, I fucking could, don't you doubt me. I just wouldn't sleep until I was done. Why are you trying to bait him like that? He's just gonna do it. You know the guy will fall into his job. He's just, he's really good at destroying his life. I mean, just look at the 1800 videos we've made. Uh, Marco says, what is this? The collection doesn't not contain any of the Road Rash games. Riot. <laughs> EA said no. They said Ro Road Rash was too valuable. <laughs> look, that would uh, go against EA's stance of uh, not doing ports, not doing remasters. Wait, they do, they do that? <laughs> they pretended to for a while, then like, there's your burnout remaster. Here's your burnout remaster, it's we're overpriced. sorry. We forgot we love money. <laughs> yeah, they fucking overpriced the shit out of that. I would've bought it. You hear um, the burnout guys are actually making a racer pretty shortly here, right? Oh yeah? Yeah, like, it's burnout style racing. Wow, the, the guys who I assume broke off and made that yeah. other thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, so, I, feel I think really it's bad. called Dangerous Racing. Okay. Because the other thing's called Dangerous Golf. Right, there's and dangerous. Then they made some them. other crash zone thing, which I don't remember what that one's called. I really need to buy that one. I feel bad that I haven't, because that was like my favorite mode of burnout. Same. I hear since it has a it's in a factory for like simulation aesthetic, it kinda of ruins it a bit. Yeah. Which I can understand. But you know, you know it's probably still fun. Um yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow of Darkness says, if you play twenty four hours straight, would that still be in one night? Yeah. Uh, Prince Silvermane says- Not the next says, day until I fucking sleep. Not to me. <laughs> Silvermane. Stop being mean. We have enough bullies in our chat. Actually, Vox isn't here. <laughs> God damn it. My brain was in Sonic 1 mode. Or Sonic 2 mode. I could you're in Sonic 1. It's <laughs> good, you're prepared. And then, I, and then I changed it, and you're like, bad, you're not prepared. <laughs> um, I was trying to get 50 rings before he hit the first checkpoint. Ah. The way Sonic 2 does it is objectively better. <laughs> Much like everything Sonic 2 does. Okay, now I can just fucking leave. There's a bunch of bullshit if I want it. I guess that could help for getting rings, but when I can rewind, I don't... I don't... I don't really see a huge You don't fear battle. anything. Oh no, rewind it! That input latency. <laughs> da -da 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 hurry up! Nutway wonders how many times they've, uh... reused Green Hill Zone in the series. Uh, yeah, as we've mentioned quite a lot tonight, uh, Nutwise, uh... They need to cut it out. They really need to cut it out. Um... Let's see... Prince Silvermane, um, I'm not sure if you're kidding about the spin dash, but Sonic 1 does not have a spin dash. So, uh... It's like, why isn't Tan using the spin dash? Yeah. The spin dash, Dan, what are you doing? Now, Sonic 1 is, uh, I weird. I doesn't know. <laughs> that would be hilarious. 
He'd be like, oh, wow, this game does suck. I thought you guys were just giving Xeon shit. Which, I mean, it can be both. <laughs> Fast forwarding. Rewinding. That'll make this go much faster. AXM says, I kind of like how you reach the bonus stage of Sonic 2, but resetting your rings when you exit is just mean. Um, not really, because it also brings out back every ring in the level, and you can now get all the one-ups again. In fact, I, I spent a decent amount of time uh, when Agar and I did. The audio was just hissing. Yeah, there. why was it doing that? I don't know, it's fucking broken. This is Why is it fucking broken? Number one. This collection sucks ass. Toad says, Sonic 1 is more about platforming. How? I don't know. Look. How? That's just because you have a proper move to gain momentum in Sonic 2 doesn't mean that it's any less about platforming. Uh, Trip Tune Radio says, Beat pu best pu yeah, no, Beat Pie, or you will bring dishonor upon your family. No, that's not. Uh. No, I did that right. Do it again. No, do it again, but the right. Yeah, I feel like the number one joy you could possibly get from this collection is that rewind feature and how insane that gets when you're doing this over and over and over. Okay, Prince Silverman didn't realize he just was making fun- or noting the, uh, Still in Sonic 2 mode stuff. You were saying? Yet yeah, my brain says, I- I wanna wanna- no lies. Definitely check out Sonic Mania. Yeah, Buzzery is some old levels, but it does it remixes them. Oh, he, he's like fuck Sonic Mania because it has Green Hill. Yeah, he's like. Oh, I he hear you. I hear you, brother. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, he's just saying uh, I'd like to check out Sonic Mania, but I don't know what to think after with the reused stages like Green Hill and Chemicals Plant. Hopefully, you can mix them up enough. <laughs> Yeah, and the new stages are really good. The new stages are incredible, and they need to give a whole... Let them make a whole game that is just that. <laughs> just the new stuff. Gravians wants them to take... A, or wants them to take the rewind away. It's turning into YouTube poop. <laughs> yeah, that's why this is enjoyable. I'm sorry, to you, you may just see a normal game of Sonic, but I'm in hell. Input latency is heinous. Yeah, no. Okay. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Uh, Good you, luck, you man. Go. Good luck with that. Good luck with this screen. I, I, I'm, I got this. You gonna do what? Oh, okay. Oh, man. Darn it. Bye, stream. Bob's, Bob's leaving now. I will only be able to check the chat in between important segments, such as when I finish reading my poems about Sonic. Now that Bob is gone, there is no God. No one there to save you from me. <laughs> you said Yash was bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 yeah, no. Inuyasha totally, totally worse than Sonic. There is a good Sonic game or two. Mmm... I don't know... Guys, do you think- do you think Sonic's better than Inuyasha? Please, please let me know. Cause Bob seems to think so, and I think he's just an idiot. Pretty sure he's just fucking wrong on that one. No I says, have a good night, Bob! Have a good rest and sweet dreams! And now he's trying to spam the chat, but I'm like, paying attention. You guys actually can't link anything. We don't allow you. We don't trust you. And this is why. Because the moment, the moment Mod leaves, you think you could just post more. Which will actually get you completely banned from the channel. So, see? It's for your own protection. We just want to keep you safe and have fun with you guys. Like, you guys, you just want to hurt yourselves. And that's not good. That's bad. I'm pretty sure I cannot get an, a Chaos Emerald on Act 3, which is a little sad.
Because in Sonic 2, if you know exactly what you're doing, you can get every Chaos Emerald in just the first two acts. In just in Emerald Hill Zone. Um, but yeah, no. Um, as Bob was saying a second ago, definitely, definitely try Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania is a solid game. It is unfortunate that it recycles levels, but it does it in a fun way. It has some ideas. Hey, Dan, what if you just hide and chill the fuck out for a sec? Okay, there. So if it's possible for me to get a, a, a third Chaos Emerald here, I will do it. Damn. Okay, it's fine. Brandon O'Sullivan is saying he believes what I believe. Do you believe? Animation is so fucking goofy. It's like the goofiest animation for Sonic to make it into a real Sonic game. For those who didn't get a good look, I'll do it again. Come on. That. Look at, I don't know. It doesn't even look real. It doesn't look like art that would show up in a real Sonic game. Right? It's a wrecking ball thing. Bang. Nice try, asshole. I don't care. Yes, I do. Shit. You start looking up faster in this one than you do in Sonic 2. But yeah, no, no way to, no way to get fucking giant rings. I don't think many recycling zones is a bad thing. They all feel like love letters to make which, to what makes each one great. Yes, and while the chemical hit, uh, plant zone having the injections that change the fluid into a hyper um, reactive a bouncy surface is interesting. I don't feel like that really takes anything that was in the original and enhances it, but it's still a neat idea. Um, and I enjoy it. I just, I really love the new areas they did, and I really wish they got to do more. Because they did great. They did a great job. God, this feels so terrible, and I wish I could convey that to you people somehow, other than. God knows if the latency being added to sync up the video and the mic, get it closer in line with the game, and thus not true to life. I actually really like this song, even though I never really played Sonic 1 as a kid, like ever. I don't even know if I ever owned it. I don't think I did. Yeah, I, I didn't. Which is fine. Not that great of a game. I mean, it's okay. It's a pretty good. What is an Inuyasha? You know what? I want someone in chat to explain what they, how they would describe an Inuyasha. Mania's press garden zone is fucking amazing. Absolutely love that area. Yeah, that area was pretty cool. We never speak of the horror that is Metropolis Zone. So I'm always really terrible at remembering. You fucker. Remembering the names of the areas closer to the end of the game. So that shield should not have been wasted like that. Don't want to end up in a cyber shell situation. Where I immediately lose it and then go, man, wish I could go back and get that shield, but I fucking wasted it. I didn't know about this until I watched Cyber Shell's uh, Let's Play. Never found it. Once again, as someone who never owned Sonic, that's fine. Sonic 1. Yeah, what the hell? A weird little area. I don't even know if that's supposed to be there. You gotta be careful coming out. I feel like it could get high enough to crush you. Yep, just barely. 
bros. Bum, 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 bum. Inuyasha is a bad anime. Inuyasha is an anime that lasts way too long and nothing happens. I feel like these are both fair descriptions. Um, has an amazing theme though. Like the third ending theme? No, it wasn't the third ending theme. I'm thinking of Heart of Sword. Some theme in Inuyasha is really good. But it's one of those things where I actually experience nostalgia for it, and thus it is my bane. As much as I like retro games, I generally speaking do not like them for nostalgia reasons. I like them because they're perfectly solid games. A lot of the time. Um... Yeesh! I legit as fuck don't know. Oh, hey, look at that. So the thing about those, like, peppermint-looking rollers is that they trap you in really hardcore. So if you just try to spin off of them, you'll just spin in place. And that's why they're so tricky. I'll just, uh... Try to... There we go. There we go, perfect. Cool! Anime Box says, I'm still alive, yay! See, there you go, that's the spirit. Is Sonic on crack right now? Uh, you know, he just has time travel powers, you know? Wait, is Inuyasha that anime with the guy that has a black hole for a hand, but never can use it because of some bugs? Yes. Uh, fucking Spaceman, if you're still here, which one is that guy? Because I am blanking on the name. That is not Sashomaru. Is it? Maybe it is. No, Sashomaru is the white... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. You're not wrong that it comes off as a bit YouTube poop. He really does. But that's, that's what makes it great. Because elsewise, it's just a really laggy way to play some games in a collection that's not exactly definitive. This is interesting. Okay, let me... Dude, fuck that area down there. Look at that shit. Also, Toad, I assume you were trolling by saying that. But who knows? Maybe I'm just, uh... Projecting. Maybe I just cannot cross the gap from my perspective to yours. And you are some woke intellectual who's going... To, who's certain that Sonic 1 is way more about fine-tuned platforming. Fucking shit! <laughs> Why would you guys not want that feature? That's incredible. <laughs> it's a fucking killer app. Dan is awoke. Yeah, I'm awoke at about five, four in the morning. Instead of them only being available on mobile. Yeah, no, that'd be nice. Sega really should bring out the Christian Whitehead versions of everything and green light a fucking Christian Whitehead version of three. Less useful here because you still have the momentum from what's going to kill you. Yeah, that's, that's true. I meant that Sonic 1 is more about fundamental platforming as opposed to 2 and 3's more complex gameplay. Um... Yeah, I mean, to some extent, it's how they are, they are deeper, but I, I, I feel like, I feel like even in their methods of doing normal fundamentals, two 
Especially, but also three, engage on a deeper level. But really mostly two. Because three, three gets really in the weeds with gimmicks per level. Like, Hydro, Hydro City Zone is obviously not normal platforming for a video game. Ah, man, I got, I weirdly got scared only when I saw the checkpoint. So I've gotten every ring so far, and only because of that am I now at 50. Is this level just a lot longer than I remember, or what? And yes, you may be right, the momentum is definitely making the rewind less helpful and harder to finesse, but it's making it a trillion times funnier. Oh shit. It's been a fun stream, Dan. I'm leaving now for, for now, bye. Or I'm leaving now, bye. Take it easy, Slim Jim. I have never say that one is better than two or three, but I still think Sonic 1 is a good game. Um, yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, Sonic 1 is a good game compared to most platforming games. Like, obviously, I think it's better than fucking Bubsy. I think it's better than Arrow the Acrobat. I also, on an unrelated note, think it's better than Arrow Biz. Went under the first one, but the second one didn't work right. Boys, 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 boys. The answer to my question earlier is yes, this level is much longer than I remembered. <laughs> it is definitely funnier, but it's absolutely what's going on here. Oh man, what time is it? 4.15. That's fine. I don't need over seven hours of sleep. It's good enough. Oh-ho-ho-ho! Jesus, why did I speed up so much? Wow, that one's kinda easy. Almost there. Yeah, this isn't that hard. It just takes a little bit of time. This level is cool music. Yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's good music. Sonic One has a lot of good music, you know. And I honestly, like, not all of it's like happy go lucky like sort of music. Like, <sighs> Marbury Hill sounds like very um, morose. Like something about it's quite somber. I need to turn on the fan, that's what's up. One sec, one sec. Boop. Turned on the fan. Um, I love the song from, okay, so one of the best things that Sonic 3 does. Sonic 2 does a really amazing thing where it takes a level and then the second act of that level really improves on the execution of the ideas in the first one. Like, obviously, a lot of games try to do that, but I feel like... Oh, my God. Nice. Perfect. How very tool-assisted. Uh, um... But... Sonic 3 takes that even further... to do it with the music. So, like, the music in Act 1 and Act 2 are different. In Act 2 sounds like an even more awesome version of Act 1 most of the time. Hydro City Zone has some really incredible music. Spin Dasher would be helpful for that. Apparently there was nothing over here. It was the red hair. Guess the idea was if I thought I needed more buildup to make the spin into that hole go the entire distance. But I don't I don't think that's the case. I actually bought Sonic Media on um, Steam earlier tonight. Um, because 
uh, we, we want to get into doing some videos on the mods for it because I think they're hilarious. Okay. Good one. Good one. Any time now. But yeah, most of the time Sonic music's really great. The Game Gear games sometimes had absolutely beautiful music, and then other times it was a nightmare. Like, also you have to have a, an appreciation for the instrument, the sound of the Game Gear to begin with. So, you know. This music is like miles worse than the fucking music that shows up in 3, and it's, it's all Genesis music. Boop. Welcome to my impromptu Sonic Let's Play. I hope you all enjoyed being being duped into an early Sonic month. Happy 4th of July, fuckers. Sonic's red, white, and blue. These colors don't run. They spin dash. Okay. Cool. Man, it is dropping frames like mad, and it's really pissing me off. Okay. And it looked like that wall could take me in, but nope. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, Lava Reef Act 1 is one of my favorite songs from any game. Is that CD? Because I don't recognize that name. It may be a Game Gear game, though. Even though um, I like the Game Gear games I've played, I haven't played all of them, and I haven't played them all the way through, so... I'm by no means an encyclopedic gigabrain when it comes to... Man, that is one tough motherfucking bird. Yeah, this level just takes way too damn long. Apparently they were gonna make the second level that underwater level that comes much later in Sonic 1. And holy shit, what a terrible idea that would have been. Maybe Hail Zeon would have hated the game then. That level as the second level in the game is insane. What if we drown you a shitload and make you move slow as hell? Admittedly, this is some pretty difficult platforming. Man, eight rings shy. I can't remember how to, like, get extra cheesy. Oh, wait, this isn't the battle I was thinking of. I don't think I care, I just want this battle to end. Maybe I should care. He seems to just barely hit me every time. Oh no! I'm out of rings, I'm gonna have to rewind this whole battle, aren't I? I am. Okay, I didn't catch a single ring there. This sounds beautiful backwards. Okay, so that's the first hit I took. No. Technically, that's the first hit I took. I love the permit restarting the music. One, two, jump. One, two, wow, wow, can you do that correctly? That was a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, no, you can keep rewinding, it's pretty great. Marble Garden from 3 is my jam. Yeah, Marble Garden, Garden has very good music. That's and Knuckles, Dan. No, I've explained this. I've explained this a few times, Spaceman Spoof, in case you 
haven't heard the story before. I never knew that you could you that you could use the save functionality of Sonic 3 when you connect to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. So I thought Sonic and Knuckles was the most fucking insane idea ever of we're gonna sell you a cartridge that just is this one character for your other games. Um It's just Knuckles for Sonic 2 and also Sonic 3. And then we included this Knuckles game in case you decided that you were a cool enough dude. You could you could try to just try to fucking play this without continues, without save functionality, because technically there are continues, I think. Um, and of course I never beat it. Like, I would get stumped on uh, flying battery zone most of the time, because it's fucking hard. Um, for me as like a ten-year-old or whatever. Um, yeah, and it wasn't until much later in life that someone was like, no, you didn't... Like, seriously, I was, what, 24? Let's see... Yeah, that, that lines up about right. Yeah, about 24, 25, when someone fucking told me, they were like, yeah, no, you, you play through Sonic 3 and you end up in Sonic and & Knuckles. And I was so upset because I was like, fucking... I would have loved to have seen the rest of that goddamn game. No one ever told me. <laughs> so, like, yeah, no, I, I, that's, maybe I would have played more Sonic 3 and Knuckles had I known. Oh, I definitely would. There's no maybe. It's the asshole. I hate that he's, like, just barely able to hit you when you land on that because he jumps through it. Ba -ba 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 boys. What does that button do? I guess I got rid of that platform for some reason. It did that. God, what an asshole. I really do fucking hate that guy. It's like one of the most annoying Sonic enemies. Da, 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 da. Isn't there... I feel like there's a secret path down somewhere around here. Okay. So there are some false walls. Yeah, like that for example. I thought there was more to this one. I could just be wrong. I feel like I'm just wrong. And that's fine, so I'm gonna go now. Man, this would be way less stressful if I just had a basic fucking shield. But no, I don't get that. But yeah, no, so, uh, you know. Sonic and Knuckles just ceaselessly beat the shit out of me as a kid. You know, like it do. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, wow. Wow. I guess me hitting a checkpoint somewhere over there undid this entire path. Or this checkpoint, because it was an earlier one. Wow. Da, 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 da. Shit. This dude sucks too. Okay. Nothing? How about over here? Nope, nothing. I'll take it. That motherfucker's gonna shoot out a tiny little pellet about any second now. Yep, yep, look at these assholes. Fucking <sighs> Oh hey. I guess that button lifted the thing there. Cool. Very cool. 
Why are you eating getting- <laughs> That is a fucking great question. And, uh, I'm sorry. The PC version of Three Knuckles had it to start with. Hmm? Had what to start up? Oh, hey, Lightning Shadows, how's it going? Uh, you're not late. I mean, I guess you are because Bob's asleep and now I'm just doing this. Um, I kind of forgot Spring Yard existed too. I kept dying in Flying Battery 2. Three Knuckles is actually locked in Mega Collection Plus behind stupid requirements that I would have never found out about without the internet many years later. Ugh. That sounds genuinely dreadful. The final no bosses in Sonic and Knuckles are probably the best in the entire 2D series. It's a shame the ones in Mania are what they are. I agree with that. I think the ending to Mania is really weak and it's sad. Um, and I don't just mean from like a boss design layer. I mean like, like the ending itself makes me upset. I worked so hard for those Chaos Emeralds and then it was that and I was like, oh, fuck off. Um, that's fine. It could have been worse. It could have been a letter from Oak saying, Thanks, buddy. I actually jumped out of that. I thought I, thought I had to re rewind, but I actually didn't. Dan. Dan. Come on. You got this? Hell yes. Once it finishes spinning around, I got this. Oof. Come on. Oof. That was close. This is the Harvest Moon Winter music. Oh man, it's been so long. Which version of Harvest Moon? Gosh, I never liked these bonus stages. They were just not, wait. They were just never fun to me. And even when I figured out what I needed to do, I always ended up just falling into the goal. You work so hard for the Chaos Emerald when if you just put classic Sonic and fun, when it just put classic Sonic in Sonic Forces, you monster. I know, I'm really upset. <laughs> I'm really upset that that's... Because one, Classic Sonic and Sonic and Sonic Mania are two different tiers of Sonic, for sure. Sonic Mania Sonic is great. Um, way better design. Ugh, God. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about how much I hate the modern area era of... These fans sure did like Sonic Generations, so that's what all contemporary Sonic is from now on. It's kind of like the Mega Man 9 and 10 problem of a complete lack of ambition due to the fans having so much nostalgia that the nostalgia wank games are exactly what they want, and so it's what they get. Um, the problem is that Sonic Forces is just doing that on a gameplay front, and the story is just some crazy, like, crazy out there, uh... Sad am levels of like dark edge lordiness. I find I find it amusing that it is that grim dark. But you know, not good. I don't find it good. That's that's kind of the problem, right? Like, being funny is neat and all, but not being fucking terrible is probably a better idea. Okay, let's see if I can redo this. Okay. There we go. I cannot express how hard this is with this much fucking input latency. It is... And once again, I think it's a little bit better than PS3, but who knows, maybe that's the TV. Because we had an older TV, obviously, uh, when we did the PS3 Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. I was supposed to be going up. That's messed up. Yeah, no, that's, and I mean, that's what it's going for, and I, I, I find that stuff amusing in Sad Am, but, you know, I don't find it good. <laughs> I, 
Am I just really supposed to be jumping across the top of these? Like, this takes that idea that Sonic rewards you for traveling the top successfully and takes it to the whole next level. Damn. Because, you know, sometimes it doesn't feel like it's rewarding you. that's going to be possible, but I would really like that shield. I guess, once again, it doesn't matter. I have time control. Also, I don't get the Captain Crimson reference. Um, if it's JoJo's, I haven't seen past the uh, second JoJo. Um, Bob actually just ordered the first part of the third JoJo uh, because we're watching it dubbed. Um, and it's a great dub, honestly. See what I'm talking about? Fuck these guys. They're fucking terrorists. Dan, stop getting the fucking lives. It doesn't fucking matter. You're almost done with your goal. Oh, whoops, that might be spoilers then. <laughs> yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of figured. Alex Spellman says you can fast rewind if you hold L2 or R2 as well. Oh, that's nice. Huh, thank you. That certainly is helpful. I feel like I have more control um, of the Sonic 2 special levels, even if those have insane input lag on something like this, I, I feel like I'd still rather play them pro probably. I'll just chill here and it'll be fine. There we go. Yay! Take it easy, I'm Dude Gamer. And just to make sure lose my progress. I'm just going to save that and then pull up the... Oh, okay. It popped up. I just didn't see it. Didn't hear it. Play 50 games. Play 20 games. I can do that. 10 challenges seems like it's going to be a damn nightmare, though. <laughs> Sonic can now change into Super Zoe. Wait. This looks like a pretty good... Yeah. Um... Man. I don't have any idea about Shining Force. I know nothing about Shining Force. So... That should be possible by using save states. Complete all challenges. Fuck off. Are you... I bet you have a challenge. Finish one stage with a full bar of health.
Oh. Right. Oh. I, um, accidentally used my special right out of the gate. I, uh, am remembering why I do not like Streets of Rage 1, and that is because it is a 30 frame per second game. It feels terrible. I'm sure I can totally make it through this level with a full bar of health. That's definitely something I can do without rewinding capabilities. I wonder if I can bring in the... Weird that it didn't just... Cancel the challenge at that point. Was that a challenge or was it a trophy? I think that was, I'm pretty sure that was a challenge. Yeah. Hmm. I guess it doesn't say with all my lives in a full bar of health. Brenner Sullivan, uh, da, da, da. Oh yeah, yeah, that's Luminous Remastered skin. Streets of Rage 1 has great design. I honestly wish I could get over how chunky it runs. G host games, all you have to do is get to the boss, use his get his health low, and then use the health. Yeah. Oh yeah, because there's a turkey there. That's why it's called eating turkey. Uh let's see what you did there. Thank you for the help. Still is really too bad I used my special right out of the gate. But what? It is so ridiculous that it's just straight up Pac-Man sounds. So what do you guys think? Is Streets of Rage 1 better than Double Dragon 2? Because I feel like that's the trade you're making by being a uh, Genesis fan. You don't you don't get that double dragon. At least at this point in time, I don't think you did. I think that came later. If at all. I thought they made a port, but now I can't... I can't think of what year that would have been if there was a port to the Genesis. And yet I can see the graphics in my brain, but that's probably because the arcade graphics look so much like Genesis tier. Man, are you guys gonna just run away from me all day? Is that what this is? <laughs> Get out of here! Use that home run bat on you. Please tell me that's not the final boss. That would have really sucked if it was just like, yeah, the final boss of the first level is just some totally unassuming asshole. Pause this and read some chat since it seems pretty active. I think I'd best go to sleep. Yeah, you should. Absolutely. I never owned a Genesis either. Uh, I like Streets of Rage 1 more because it's the one I owned. Double Dragon 2 was superior. Uh, this basic enemy is called Garcia and has, basic, has pretty fancy AI, actually. Has Gigaboots played the Streets of Rage remake? We actually got asked that by Mr. Field earlier, and we have not. Let's see, Double Dragon 2 was on as a Genesis. Wikipedia says it was released in 1988. I didn't even know the fucking Genesis was out in 88. I thought it was 89. I need you guys to give me a description of what the final boss looks like for stage one. Because I have no fucking clue. Come here. Come here, you. Good sound effects. Oh. 
Oh. Peace out. You have a health bar, so you are definitely him. Oh, it counts lives, guys. That feels bad. That feels real bad. Let's not do that, then. What are the trophies we've got here? Get to the final boss without using a continue. Yeah, that's... Please, I really hate that pressing circle to get out of the screen with the trophy brings me back into the game, but not back into that one moment. Kill 25 enemies by throwing or knocking them off of the environment in a single playthrough. I don't know if I could safe state cheese that. I think I would just have to do a playthrough. Mega Man 11 hype. Absolutely. Let's see. There are a lot of things I love about SOR, like items don't disappear from the ground over time. And you don't have to throw a knife. Yeah, no. That is nice. I'm like Double Dragon. Well, the remake is really good. They actually have versions of the Streets of Rage 1 characters with specials and dashing. Streets of Rage 1 Axel is probably the best Axel. That's cool. I need to check that out sometime. And I don't know. Something about the way you get trophies in this collection is not doing it for me. It's just sticking them all in the worst games possible. And it's like asking me to do stupid crap. Like, it's just not as... Not as challenging. Like, the split is I do stuff that is boring as shit and takes an entire game or is insanely hard. Like, I feel like there's no in-between. <coughs> this one was just maxing out my, um, uh, magic, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I can do that. And the stutteriness of the t t t is real bad. It's real bad. So where the 80% of that last shelf is unused. Yeah, no. The room was not designed for an idea. Like, they didn't have a perfect idea of how many games they would license, so they overshot. And the more I play games on this collection, the more I just want to boot them up on Hell yes. Now that you have been released from the evil curse, your mission is to defeat the Prince of Darkness and return with the Golden Axe. Now go, brave- Go now, brave warrior! Why is- Why is A button always magic? That effect looks great on a Genesis. You know, Dan. No, look to your look to your left, buddy. Rah, rah. <laughs> That's great. That kick. What is with that jump kick? E. Whack. <laughs> I'm just gonna play it past forward, because I, I feel like it's better this way. Sorry guys, I didn't know you were here now. Cut that shit out. No. Okay, so I only need four more things of magic. I feel like I could have chosen a class that would have had fewer, you know. Had fewer magics than they needed to fill. Perfect, beautiful, thank you. A weird enemy. Or what a weird mount. It's 
just so strange. I'm not good at this mount in Golden Axe 3. At almost 5 in the morning. What if? Cool. Get out of here, bud. Yeah, I'm noticing that thing you were talking about. They're like... A lot of special moves. If I get into that combo, I can do that. That's pretty neat. Also, eating people alive, pretty dope. <laughs> As I continue to just kick people- oh, fuck no. That's terrible. <laughs> I just land and go underneath. Oh man, that's too funny. <laughs> oh, fucking- In a lot of these beat-em-ups with, like, uh, grabbing as a mechanic, I kind of wish that was a separate button or input instead of just brushing nips with them, because there's enough of a weirdness trying to get depth to register in the way you expect it to. Alright, that's hell. Oh, hello. Let me just eat my way through your armor. <laughs> oh no, none of that. Oh, cool. Um, this looks. A little different. I wonder... Okay, Dan. I know I look absolutely miserable at this game, but you gotta understand, it just feels so bad. If I do this better, I can actually get the last few ones remaining. Man, dude just took off after that. Holy God! Oh, hey. This time I didn't miss this entire stream because of sleep. Yep, the emulation is really bad on PC too. Just play his armor dead sleep. Yep. Uh, I wouldn't know because I'd never owned Genesis, but I managed to play Sonic 1 through 3 just fine. On what? Like on um this collection or something else? Yeah, that's, that's literally what this is though. I worry that the PS4 version I worry that the PS4 version probably has more input lag than the PC version, which wasn't great to begin with, as I understand it. I'm gonna get that other dude back. What if... Why 
does the second one always run away immediately? Whatever, Dan. Oh, I did it. Nice. I don't see this. Usually looks pretty neat. Why are you giving me an F? You're hurting my feelings. Dan, the little steely guys only drop a set amount of magic jars. Yup. <laughs> Y'all having a lovely night or day? On PC, Dan, got every single PC Sonic game in a humble bundle two years ago when they still made good bundles. Uh, okay, so we're done here. I should probably save it just in case I want to like play more Golden Axe 3 later. But yeah, I mean, I felt it on a, on a PC emulator it play better than this. Admittedly, it all still feels pretty shitty when you're used to the actual thing. Yeah. Um. Okay, so now what? I mean, I guess I could try that, but. Oh yeah, there was a Toe Jam and Earl thing. It's weird that both of them are in Toe Jam and Earl one. But it has both of both games on here, doesn't it? Yeah, it has both. They're both in this first game. Unless it just did the world's worst job of conveying. Let me check. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I'm the secret island. Island. Dance the hula. It was already in. <laughs> I have not played Toe Jam and Earl on this TV. This is so bright and colorful. Holy fuck. Dan, it's 5 a.m. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot IGN bought them. Man, that was fucking a really weird and uncomfortable moment. Not a fan of this interface. Yeah, no, the interface is terrible for this collection. anyone, do I? Did I already mess up by going to this area instead of staying in this more tropical region? I bet I did. Man, what a weird game. Maybe I should not have played this without... Maybe I shouldn't have played this without Bob and Aggro. Because they're clearly more more into this. That's not draining my health, is it? No. As far as I can tell, it's not. Need bucks. Man, what a fucking weird game. Is that a sneaky mode? What a fucking weird game. Could you imagine even trying to make a follow-up to this in 3D? They tried to do that on the Xbox, and oh god, what a nightmare. This is... this is... Wasting away my life essence. Oh, hey, there's a thought, Dan. 
Sure, I can't see too well through it, but I can see well enough. Yeah, I don't know. Never got the Toe Jam and Earl game. Never understood. Like, Aggro and Bob informed me that this game was Mondo Cool and that they enjoyed it a lot when they were kids. But every time I've ever tried to play it, I'm like, what a weird, sloppy feeling game. It seems to be, walk around a bunch, hope you find the enemy. I hope you find the exit that takes you to the right place. It's more accurate. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like a definitely. <laughs> you can't attack it until you get the tomatoes. Holy fuck. Have we reached a suck conclusion yet? Um, yeah, this collection sucks. <laughs> you have to get the skateboard and ride it across the water to- What in the world? If you didn't play it as a kid, you probably won't enjoy it now. That seems accurate. Yeah, I don't- Collect the ship peaches, pieces which are randomly generated on each floor. Man, if there's one thing I love, it's randomly generated. Okay. Earl is on vacation. Okay, there we go. I got my running shoes back. <gasps> there we go. Did it. What the hell? especially helpful. I could have just assumed there was land in every direction and run to the full extent of it. I mean, there's water. What a weird freaking game. I feel like, like, what's it, living sleep? Ellis... I don't remember what it stands for. Living Sleep Dreams? I don't know. I feel like LSD might be a more moderate game-like game than this. So if I... let me... Is there even... wait. Yeah. Why do I... Okay, that's a weird attack. If you're watching this, this is just a full exercise in watching Dan trying to deal with literal madness. Okay, so now I got bouncy shoes, which is... Really, it'd just be great to not have this thundercloud murdering me. I'm dead. Oh, oh! I I came back under the water and started drowning immediately. Got it. Got it. That checks out. I'm trying to open all of these in the event that any of them are...
Toe Jam is a Poindexter now. Okay. What a weird fucking game. Yeah, you need to read the manual a bit before playing the game. It It's not a mechanically complex game, but assumes you know what items are and what not. Please play Wonder Boy and Monster World. You know what? That sounds... Okay, I'm now officially out of items. <laughs> Did it again because I was in fast forward. Didn't see where I was walking. I feel like they did that intentionally. <laughs> this is so absurd. So is there a way to tell what items are in the different... Um, yeah, that's what I thought, because that's a thing, I guess. Um, is there a way to tell which items are in which presents? What a weird sentence. Or do I just have to open each one up and find out? My older brother still does that wake up, wake up, wake up thing. The binding of Toe Jam. Yeah, no, it's, uh... You could actually pay to identify items. That sounds right. There's a ship part here. Ow. I'm not saying barely anywhere to go. Oh, hey, money. Oh, well. It's a huge chunk of it. Like, this, this is a perfectly playable game, I just feel like it moves so slow. Like this. It's like I'm constantly crossing high Hyrule Field in Zelda Ocarina of Time. Even in fast forward it feels like I don't move fast enough, and I ran out of that, the running shoes. I mean, I have boxes, I can open them and hope for the best. I guess that's better than nothing, right? I keep getting fireworks out of those. Toe Jam is a peanut. Oh. Bye, Bye Santa. What a 
weird fucking game. Okay, I guess it shipped immediately? Is that right? Okay, time to go. I can actually kill enemies now. I really want to see how that looks. But she's no longer following me, so... I thought he would jump over to that. Bushes. Good lord. Fucking... Okay, sure. People think Nobi Nobi Boy is weird, but that game... That game makes so much more sense. I feel. This is like, you want to stretch and be long. Good job. You did it. Because you're huge, that girl's huge. That makes sense. <sighs> oh my god. I was about to ask if you could jump over the edge, and then you did. Yeah, yeah, if you keep holding against it, it'll uh, let you leap to your death. My god, I got mauled by a mailbox. Oh, I um... I opened a present and it killed me. Are you the secret island? What's the meaning of this? It just teleported me to a random part of that other area. The only way out was to drop down. Back down a floor. Oh my lord. Oh god. Oh, excuse me everyone. Sorry I'm yawning so much. I really should go home and go to sleep. This is just befuddling. I have no idea why I haven't turned this towards me. Oh, because I'm gonna get run over by a wrecking ball there. This is fucking crazy. What a crazy motherfucking game. That guy made some new game, and I can't remember what it was, and then he crowdfunded a remake or sequel. Is there even an ending to this game? Yeah, you get all the parts and then your spaceship works. You have to go down to level zero. This looks like hell. You know? 
It feels like hell. Oh, it, uh, it, it rotated my controls. So now left goes up and up goes right and right goes down and down goes left. There's no point to this, is there? It's just gonna lead me to a dead end. Oh boy. You a motherfucker. You a dirty ass motherfucker. Oh! Neat. Should get my ass eaten by a shark. Oh. Would these, uh, be the, uh,. Yeah, this seems like what you were talking about. Problem is I lose those items in between levels, don't I? Maybe not. Hopefully not. I lost it. Fuck. not really what I wanted to do. Oh my god, Dan. Dan, you have the rewind ability. What were you even thinking? I'm like sitting here trying to play this game legitimately when this is what it is. Oh no, that's as far back as it can rewind, isn't it? There's no way to put it away. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And I drown. Oh my god. This game. shot? No, it just it's really weird and it needs you to push in the direction you want to shoot and hit the shoot button. Yep, I think I'm in hell. God. Oh, hey. That's rocket skates. I should intentionally not use those and drop down a billion layers. Dan, 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 Dan. Do not kill yourself. I'm stuck in the middle of water. All because I was not paying attention. Okay, so the whole stick here is that I'm surrounded by... I'm gonna save. 
surrounded by water, so you gotta use that to get anywhere near the edge. Shirtless, and I guess that's cool. I, I guess that's. <laughs> I guess getting one of those got me a one up because the stars are one up. Yeah, uh, Toe Jam and Earl 2 is a really, really different game. Man, fucking weird. Oh, okay, so you can get in the, with them. I was gonna say, what the... How weird is it that they made this and I couldn't get in with them? But yeah, okay, you can get in with them. Got it. So what happens when I drop down from zero? I end up all the way at the top, okay. That's fine, I can deal with that. I cannot believe how that game is that. <laughs> like, it's mind boggling. It's like so long before all those roguelikes. Whoa. Okay, watching you in chat try to blindly figure this out is hilarious. Thanks for another awesome stream. Maybe more Sega and chill soon. Yes, we'll, we'll have to do this again when there's more than one person in this room. Custer's Revenge Returns, Hot Tub Edition. Yeah, no, this is, uh, that was ridiculous. Holy crap. That's a lot of trophies for one night. How many is it? 16 out of 26, that's over half of them, you know? The rest of them are, like, uh, either reasonable of play a shitload of games, which, you know, I could do that real quick just by booting a fuckload. Or, uh, absolutely ridiculous, like beating every challenge when the challenges are fucking ridiculous and they should feel bad for making them as hard as they made them. At least there's no Toe Jam and Earl challenge. I'm not even sure what the fuck that would be. Oh. With just one health bar remaining? My name's Dan, and I do this non-stop. I hit the- I hit the A button in Sega Genesis games, and that's not how they work. And I should know this, but I don't. I'm getting out. This is too much. It is time to go to sleep, Dan. It is definitely time to go to sleep. Well, thank you all for joining me for the stream. Sorry I got so weird and rambly near the end. That's just how I am when I stream by myself and I'm doing... I'm engaging with things that are befuddling as fuck. It was very talkative during Sonic and then I hit Toe Jam and Earl and I sort of lost my mind. So, um, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, we'll have to do this again sometime with more fun games. And hopefully not nightmarish challenges where I have to beat Pi while starting at a huge disadvantage in a game that is functionally broken. Take it easy. <laughs>